Hello VOD channel watchers and welcome back to Fallout 4 but every step costs one cap. Today we're going to be continuing the challenge. Uh, I think we're about 40 hours in. We might be near the end of this run. Uh, we might be right near the end of this run. I don't know if we're going to be doing this for much longer at this point. Uh, this could be the finale today. One sec, I'm just switching my, my monitor. <laughs> this could be the finale. We could be close to done. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if we are going to finish today. I'm not going to strive to finish today. I'm not going to rush myself, but we really just have Automatron left to do and finishing the game. So honestly, that shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping that we get this done today so we can get out of this and then start Two Worlds 2 and maybe Morrowind Millionaire. I want to do Morrowind, Morrowind Millionaire soon, maybe. All right, good luck, Chet. I'm going to start the timer. Okay, the timer's broke. <laughs> Give me a second. I got to restart the timer. Um, hello, hello, bug plot. Right, okay, I've started the timer. Thank you for like ruining my entire stream. Fuck you, man. Okay, I can't believe you started the stream off on that. That's horrible. Right, the caps thing's working. Great. Did I see Drake recently? Can we stop talking about like? Celebrities and their sex lives, please. What is going on with I my hair? Oh my god. The <sighs> stream lags? The stream shouldn't lag. If it's lagging, then uh, maybe uh, fix your connection to yeah. Twitch. Identity confirmed. This unit honestly, is honestly, I kind of feel for celebrities I get like the nudes leaked, you know? Because I imagine that must feel like the most alienating thing in the world. You know, like, imagine being, like, a, a celebrity with shit tons of money, and then people just start showing your cock around. <laughs> I mean, actually, that doesn't sound too bad, too. <laughs> Did you hear that Cleopatra had sex with Julius Caesar? What the fuck, dude? Just now? Thanks, Supercat. What happened with Drake? Apparently, uh, I didn't- I saw it on stream. I'm not- I don't want to talk about it, okay? Chat made me look up Drake leak on stream, and I- I, I saw it on my phone midstream. Kind of traumatizing. Didn't really expect to see what I did. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but hey, dude. Good news, I guess. There are celebrities that don't have feelings. Well, yeah. I mean, to be fairly honest with you, dude. If you get in a 13-minute flight rather than a 30-minute car ride, <clears throat> Taylor Swift, then I probably don't care about your feelings. Yeah, that's kind of, I guess that's kind of true, right? Anyways, hope everyone's doing great. Good morning, chat. Happy Thursday. Uh, I think if we don't get this finished today, we might get this finished tomorrow. Uh, which I'm very excited for. <sighs> Bro, my girl called me asking if I could look for it for her on Twitter. Why? Because she didn't want to see it? Do I skip cock day? Yes, I do. I actually did a, I actually did a car exercise um, yesterday. Because I, I have a rule now. I'm not allowed to take a day off, like, fully. I have to, like, if I'm not streaming, and, I, and if I'm not working on YouTube, I have to at least do a workout so I don't feel like shit, you know? Um, and I did a car exercise yesterday, and I can't- I can barely fucking stand up straight. I don't know how to explain it. My body wants to curl up into a C. So, <laughs> like, when I do this, it's like, oh, fuck, it doesn't like it. It wants to go back to this shit. It's weird. I can barely hear what you have to say because it lags and freezes so hard that it just goes for like a little bit. Well, I don't know what to do about that, man. That's not- doesn't sound like my- it sounds like your issue, man. What exercise did I do? Uh, usually just crunches, uh, pull-ups, um, sit-ups, and some, uh, just- just like planks and shit. Just basic stuff. I'm not doing any mad exercises when it comes to my car. <laughs> I'm returning the shrimp pose! <laughs> yeah! Hey, oh, dude. Just Thing is, I actually have a really bad gunch. <laughs> I need some supplies. I feel like doctor. I feel like if I had a I side profile camera, I'd lose like a hundred viewers. Oh, dude, she's got one point one grand now. I completely forgot about that. That's good for us. Yeah, we we've got the inv the ability to invest in shops now, which is very good. It's gonna save us a lot of money, I think. Right, perfect. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take back about a hundred of these. Thank you. Hey, Penny. My favorite shopper. Need anything? <laughs> what happened to the horror cam? What's in stock? You I don't know. I think my, I think I unplugged my uh, my VR headset without noticing, and and now whenever I go to plug it back in, it doesn't work, and I can't be asked going around to like replug it back in. So until I get around to to that, it's 
basically permanently unplugged. Oh, that's perfect. All right, we have 5.5 grand. Um, do you think we should start just doing a quest now? Fort Hagen isn't actually that far away, to be fair. I mean, it is quite far, but I think we can realistically do this and back right now. VR chat, not... Okay, VR cam. <laughs> Wasn't here for the other streams that I do Nuka World. We've done Nuka World, we've done Vault 88, we've done uh, Far Harbor. We're going to go do Automatron. And then we're going to also do the ending of the game. That's what we're doing today. Time is it? PM. All right. Let's go now then, I guess. Never actually been to Covenant. I would say Covenant is probably one of that the better be settlements gone. in the I game. The problem with the Covenant, though, is they're a bit fucked. <laughs> they're a bit weird, you know? Jabba, if I sub to you, will you give me a shout out? Uh, I think if you sub to me, I'll say thank you for the sub, like I do everyone else. Yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Would you ever stream Tales of Two Wastelands? Not really, not really. I, I do want to do a Fallout Free play for at some point. The thing is, I feel like Fallout Free is is one of those games that I think we could play a lot more. But the problem is with Fallout Free is it's not really sought after by a lot of people. A lot of people just want to watch Fallout New Vegas or Fall. So, but I, I think it'd be nice to go to to Fallout Free for like one-off challenges. Did I give them off a funeral? No, we we we're gonna bury him in my uh, Monstera pot behind me. <laughs> I'm gonna bury him there. Do you have any pets? Uh, no, I don't have any pets right now. Uh, but I want to get some dogs. My favorite breed of dogs are like bully staff dogs, but not big ones, like medium small bullies and staff. They're my favorite types of dogs. I like Labradors. I like uh, yeah, just medium sized dogs really. Like I like Great Danes and big dogs, but like Jesus Christ, they scare me. If I ca if I can't reel in a dog, I don't want it. You know, that's my that's my motto. If I, like, if I want dogs, I want to be able to control them, so at least, like, if anything bad happens, I, I can be in control of the situation. Do I like boxes? I do, actually. Yes. I think they're quite cute. Right! We're good to go. I, I gotta remember that I'm playing on survival and that sleeping is kind of important, um, and I need to save. We also still have the explosive shotgun, so... Hey, Jabba, can you restart the stream, please? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone can chill. <laughs> No, I hate Chihuahuas. I actually do not hate Chihu do not like Chihuahuas at all. Okay, I, I think they suck. I think small dogs are the worst. I'd rather have a big dog than a small dog, but I'd rather have a medium dog than a big dog. Yeah. Also, do you guys think we should probably kill off the behemoth that's in Lexington? Probably could. Gotta watch out for the fat man guy. Jabba, there's the longest I've been without getting timed out. I, I can tell because you keep adding me every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I've been playing a lot of uh, Hell Let Loose lately, by the way, chat. What a fun fucking game. I think we already cleared out this place. We did, right? Yeah, I did this in part one. Because I want you to read my messages. Yeah, dude, there's an entire chat of people like that. Okay, you can't be selfish. If you keep adding me, then I'm going to see your messages more than anyone else, and that's selfish. Uh, and we usually time people out for that, so... <laughs> what the fuck is that emote, man? Dude, what is that? Yes, I do like, uh, I don't like to say their names, because, um... It's a, yeah, it's a bad word, but I do like man cats. I think they're very cute. I quite like cats, but I, I just don't like cat personalities. I feel like cats are, like, too isolated. <laughs> I'd prefer, like, animals that feel like they're a part of, like, a family or a pack, you know? But I think that's why some people like cats. If I'm being honest. Some people like cats for that exact re reason. Don't read this. Sorry. The thing about the thing about me is I read, like, everything that's posted in my chat. <laughs> so if you want to just, like, you know, you post, like, funny in chat. If I think it's funny, I'll react to it. But, uh, it's like when people at me in every message, it's like, oh, now I, now I have to read your message. <laughs> My cat is a special friendly cat. I've seen some cats like that, actually. That are, like, relatively good. Hello, Yao Guai. Yeah, this weapon is incredibly OP, by the way. We have, like, the world's most overpowered weapon. Any more Yao Guais? There we go. See? <laughs> it is actually ridiculous. Oh, my God. Don't read this message. I will not. Thank you. The stream is a monarchy bow down to the queen. Isn't it kind of sad that we're like, well, actually, what do you guys think about having two, uh, 
two two royal family funerals within like a, a year of each other. Because did you not see that like <laughs> King Charles said that he doesn't trust like surgery and medical science, <laughs> and he like trusts potions. He literally said the word potions too. And he's like, oh yeah, dude, I I prefer um potions and shit. And I'm like, yes. Didn't Steve Jobs too? Didn't he? Didn't he like prefer <laughs> some like stupid random crazy herbal medicine type shit? And then he died. It's a sad kind of funny. I mean, to be honest with you, at, at that age, right? What ninety? Around the age of ninety? Is he's ninety eight? Is he? Whatever, dude. You know what I mean? Like at ninety eight, you you've lived a good life. You know, you you've been there. You've you've probably experienced more than enough of of like human life to just be able to be like, okay, you know what? I'll let the potions take me. So I get it, dude. I mean, I mean actually, to be fair, he comes from an era back when potions probably worked. You know. Potions probably worked when he was a kid, so... <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> oh, I don't know, dude. I just think it's dumb. But hey, I'm, uh, whatever. It's a great chapter in British history. Woohoo! What? Yeah, he hasn't watched the Jabbo stream yet. He needs to last a bit longer. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did these two come from? Mutant Slayer submachine gun. Alright, I'll take that. Dog meat, too. We've used a thousand caps so far. The dude's like 80, not 200. I mean, at 80 years old, you've experienced so much of life, right? Come on. And if you haven't experienced so much of life at 80, like, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's actually true. I skipped school today to see your stream. Mods, time out that guy for like a day. Just time, time out Lego 57 YouTube for the day. Don't let him type in chat. Yeah, you shouldn't have skipped stream, skipped school for the stream, man. That's a stupid thing. Go get an education. It's way more important than my stream is. Especially considering you can watch these VODs. Yeah, <laughs> dude, no, I'm being serious. Time him out. Now. I'll, I'll fucking do it. All right, here we go. Lego, I'll see you in uh, tw 10 hours, man. <laughs> go back to school. You skip work for the stream? Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I have to time you out too? I'm just trying to make sure you guys end up having like good lives, man. I just don't want you guys ending up being like, you know, Regretting the fact that you took a week off from work. God, I just want you guys to be like safe and look after yourselves and be fine. You know, the world is so fucked. You know, we live in a really scary big flat earth. And you know, it's a really scary one. Like there's so much crazy stuff happening on this earth, right? Around our disc. Crazy things are happening every day. You know, I mean, yeah, they lie about flight paths and the fact that we're surrounded by a giant frozen wall and the water is actually staying inside of it and the melted water is actually fine because it's actually encapsulating our flat planet. But, I mean, you know, we don't really talk about it, so it's... <laughs> um, I'm kidding! I'm not actually into the fuck... No, I'm doing it. <laughs> you got a tax rebate? That's fine. All right, one sec. Everyone shut up. I don't know what's... Oh, yeah, this is the, the robot mission. Okay. Assaultron robot, we're attacking the fort, boys. Legendary? Oh shit. Coming out, boys! The Earth is rat shaped. What if the Earth is just a giant Pringle? Do you guys ever think about that? Yeah, when you think about it, what if the Earth is just a gigantic Pringle? You know, what flavor would the Earth be? Do melee only? That guy has an explosive... Oh my god, this guy's got an explosive weapon. Unless that's the minigun shooting. That's that's the minigun, never mind. There's a legendary over there, dude, and I... Drake leaked the flat earth. Okay, what? Well, can we stop talking about Drake, please, today? Wow! More damage! Barbecue flavored? Salty? I think if the Earth was a Pringle, it would be probably cheese and onion, you know? Probably a cheese and onion flavor, I'd say. Makes sense to me. Like, you can have a bit of it, and then after, like, a few bites, it kind of gets, like, a bit tasty. You know, you just kind of want to, like, oof. That's the best flavor. Honestly, I, I actually agree. I think the best flavored Pringles are the cheese and onion pl flavored Pringles, but I'm not a huge fan of cheese and onion. But it is, it is for some reason, it's like the cheese and... Chive? I think they call it. Cheese and chive? <laughs> Some shit like that? I get it. Sour cream? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sour cream. 
And cheese, it's sour cream. It's like cheese and onion, but like not cheese and onion. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. I like it, yeah. They did a spicy flavored Doritos at one point. Not Doritos, uh, Pringles. And I like them and I've never been able to find them since, so. Good morning, Leet Tuki. Hope you're doing well. How are we doing today? Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm like a Project Zomboid character that's been lacerated and has a 25% chance of being infected, but still wants to continue the play for, you know what I mean? So, we're doing pretty good. Who? Who? Okay, let's have a look around. This place shouldn't be that much of a... This place shouldn't be that difficult. What the fuck was that? Like, if I'm being honest with you, we're not gonna struggle with this place at all. Was yeah, it was what? Yes, it was. It was one of the rice fusion flavors. Yes, I do remember them. Yeah, it was. It was definitely that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Damn, my guy coming in with like prehistoric knowledge. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, Jabo, did you know that the uh, early humans had an early flavor for Pringles, cave rock and uh, cave rock and dirt flavored? Do you think that like humanity will ever get to that point, Chet? Where like. People will talk about, like, history in the sense of what was in the McDonald's menu. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you think we'll ever get to that point? Like, yes, World War II was really bad, but you want to know the worst part about World War II? They didn't have McDonald's. You know, like, oh my god, what? Yeah, that's right. And then during the Vietnam War, they, they only had, like, very early McDonald's. It wasn't even that good. Oh, no wonder the world was at war, dude. You know, like, no wonder shit was bad. Maybe they will. Because we don't know who's going to take over. What if McDonald's takes over? And they're like the one global, like, <laughs> one world conspiracy McDonald's company, you know? I'm just, I, hey man, like, okay, I'm on that flat earth, uh, McDonald's theory. <laughs> uh. Yo, Zen City, are you trying to get banned from the chat? Because it seems like you are. You, you seems like you're doing everything in your power to get timed out by saying shit like, I'm 13. Mods, time him out. Yeah, and time, you know what? Just time him out for being 13, actually. Fuck it. Shoot his ass. Yeah, thank you. Thoughts on the moon, real or fake? Real. But uh, I can't wait for the day that we have, like, fake moons in the sky. Big advertising moons. Celestial app, uh, what are they called? Satellites? Yeah. Celestial, like, satellites in space that are just, like, gigantic advertising campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. What's my favorite instant coffee brand? Uh, is there is there a f favorite instant coffee brand? Do, do people have favorite instant you coffee brands? What are you doing here? Oh, well, I guess they did have McDonald's during World War II. Never mind. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon. How very interesting. You know, people born in 2011 are 13 now. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Like Shut up. Have I seen Asteroid City? I tried to I watch it and I, I couldn't. I gotta find a different version of it to watch online. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. What if, what if, like, mid-World War II? Like, what if, okay, if, if McDonald's was around during World War II, right? Why is there no McDonald's in uh, any of the World War II games? Hmm? Why does the medic class not walk around with like a Big Mac? Just in case someone needs like extra energy on the field, you know? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human yeah, what, what, dude, Jezebel. I don't trust head. you, Jezebel, you robotic I'm freak. Bound by my original programming. Yeah? It pains me to admit it. Uh-huh. But one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, Interesting. while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that... Alright, whatever, I'll do a mission. Do we have a deal? What if she's lying about the fact that she can't lie? True? You destroyed Ahab. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying... I like how I just one-shot that boss, by the way. Like, I actually just, like, genuinely one-shot that boss. Like, truly, genuinely, just actually one-shot that boss. Like, I, I shot at that boss once, and it died. The truest definition of a singular shot took place just now. <clears throat> you're a cheater. And you're jealous, because I've got the best weapon in the game. 
I honestly always forget how to leave this area. It's this Watch way. the trip wires. Yes, I'd madam. I'd keep myself intact today. Thank you. I'm trying. Approach and identify yourself. Can we not talk about like the global economy and whether or not China will retake back Taiwan? I don't think today is the stream for that shit, dude. Grilled cheese or egg sandwich? Um. Ooh. I like a fried egg sandwich. Like an actual fried egg sandwich, runny yolk. That'll beat anything. Hands down. But a good grilled cheese is, is pretty fucking great, you know? You can't beat a good grilled cheese. Come on out, bitches! Fight me! Why is that one rust devil got so much health? Jesus Christ. I always forget where the enemies are in this area. Don't really do the DLCs that much. Hey, what up, Juve? I like I like runny yolks. I don't know if like if what the general consensus is on that type of shit, but the thing about oh fuck me oh good okay can you stop? Jesus. The thing about like the runny yolk on bread, it's fucking great, you know? <clears throat> you try to get them halfway. See, this is why we all consider you weird, Juve. What the fuck, man? Pick one. <laughs> you gotta pick one, man. You either like it runny or you don't. Which one are you gonna pick? You can't have them halfway. What the fuck is a jammy egg yolk? <laughs> this guy sat making like Willy Wonka tier eggs in the morning for breakfast. Oh shit, don't set up the, the tripwires. Don't set up the tripwires. How the fuck are you alive? Ramen yeggs? I do like ramen yeggs, actually. I never thought I'd like eggs and ramen. I mean, like, the idea of it's stupid as fuck, just putting an egg in ramen. And, but then when you do it, it's like goaded. Based on my limited Hello? experience with you, I estimate Good morning, Ronald Gregory Erickson. Not optimal. Yeah, we are doing. This is the last mission. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip. Yeah, that's the actual final boss, by the way. That was. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Only a fucking cow Oh, we two shot the boss. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one. Take all this, I guess. Good well. job, human. It's so anticlimactic. I'm sorry, man. What am I supposed to do? Maybe the, the final boss fight will be a bit more energetic, man. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to do a bit of the main story. And then, hopefully, if we time everything correctly, we should be able to, to uh, finish the main story around about the same time we can finish this DLC. Uh, which I hope we do correctly. It's like, what am I dropping here? Drop that. Do I have any buff out? Yeah, this should be enough to get me home. <coughs> I'm only cheating myself. Okay, so so if I get one sec, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> if I get a explosive combat shotgun from now on, am I not am I not supposed to use it? What am I supposed to do? Throw it away? <laughs> what am I? I'm sorry. I the game gave it and I take it. You gotta drop it. It's the best weapon you can literally find in the game, man. Why would I get rid of this? It does 297 plus like 180 damage. It's like 500 damage per shot. I'm not gonna throw this away. Shut up. No, you guys, you guys don't get it. Okay, you guys would never get it. All right, fuck you. All right, Abenafi Farm. We should probably do one of these on the way down. I think. Outpost. Uh, we could probably go to Abenafi Farm. Let's if let's do that. Let's done, let's do that. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Abenafi Farm is to the north. Uh, their quest will take us out east, so we can run back to Edo and do that quest, and then run back to Abenafi Farm. Easy. What should I do for breakfast? Uh. I always like. I think one of my favorite breakfasts is uh, a soup and sandwich, from like a local cafe. Usually, I'll try and get like a lentil soup. And then, and then, like, a uh, chicken tikka or butter chicken sandwich or something like that. Something nice or, like, a bacon sandwich. Uh, and then if you dip that in the lentil soup, it's fucking goaded. It's, like, it's such, it's such a impossible-to-beat combo. It's crazy. 
Jabba from America, we don't do that here. What, have a sandwich and drink and have soup? What, are you stupid? That's a good breakfast. You have some carbohydrates, some essential fucking nutrients, some vitamins, and, uh, you know, a healthy, good-sized meal. Wait, what, what, what's there not to like? That's good release of energy over the day. That's gonna do good things for you. Fuck me, sorry for giving you actual advice. Go eat a fucking Pop-Tart or something. My bad, sorry. <laughs> Is that what you want me to say? <laughs> Ask me an actual question. Lentil soup Skyrim ass diet. You fat fuck juve. You listen to me, all right? Go eat your fucking sweet rolls. Shit's got stop fighting with you, man. <laughs> Hello? Any any bosses or people with overpowered hey, weapons? Anything like that? Fun. Jabbo heads juve. I do. Don't tell him I said that though. Excuse me? What did you have? Shit. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, there. Right. Good stuff. But yeah, I've been playing like a lot of um, Hell Let Loose re recently, and that game is really fucking hard. It turns out when people play Milsim games, they really play milsim games. Oh my god. Like, I, I swear, half the time I'm playing that game, I get killed from people I can't see, but whatever. Hell Let Loose is like a Battlefield 1-esque game, but with, like, realistic time to kill. So, like, you just need to shoot someone once for them to die. It's kind of fun. That game is fire. Yeah, I've been playing it a bit. They're all middle-aged divorced dads. Same. <laughs> uh, you have UK aim, that's why it's so hard. Hey man, go fuck yourself. If I had UK aim, would I get two kills just like that, eh? Huh? <clears throat> <sighs> Jabba doesn't notice other people and not anyone due to being so famous, so he thinks he gets interacted with by ghosts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Zeril, are you kidding? PTE stream this weekend? I have no idea what that means. <clears throat> I feel like there's a learning curve with the game. But recently I've been enjoying games with like learning curves. I think like challenging games have been a lot of fun for me lately. I've been playing a lot of Fear and Hunger. I Well, well I've kind of dropped it now, but I played it for a while. Uh, oh yeah, not invisible people. Oh, they're not invisible. They're just people across the map that you can't fucking see. They're like zooming in on two pixels to kill you, you know? <laughs> That's what it is. Um... But no, for, for sure, um... I forgot what I was talking about now. We did play Tarkov two days ago. It was actually quite fun. I was quite good at it on stream. I didn't die. Chat got mad at me. Like, oh yeah, dude, play Tarkov. He's gonna die instantly. We'll get to see his bad aim. Nah, I survived two, maybe three raids? Was it two raids? Yeah, I played Tarkov on stream. Wait, Juve, do you play Tarkov? I didn't know you played Tarkov, man. Jabbo is the best streamer in the world. All right, gay pop tap, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You can calm down now, though. I did two raids. Yes, I did. Two whole raids, boys. And I think I killed one player and like six scabs. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. We meet again. Do not worry, kitty cat. I will not harm you. I have no need for your flesh today. Hey, That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Can I give him a kiss on the on the lips? Can I kiss you on the lips? It's okay. I'm friendly. Not no, I've played a lot of talk of Juve. Don't worry if about you it. You say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field, all right, all day, I'm every day, giving this guy a purge. And every minute of it, spent watching your back. <sighs> Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do, yeah. this guy has a mission where we have to go I'll get his, like, daughter's someday. amulet. Well, maybe we're white wall. Bastards. And we have to go All do it. Sure. There's nothing How many steps have we took? On oh, Not salad! Oh, shit! Sorry! Don't oh, my worry. God, I feel like so Good. Salad, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I don't have raid notifications. Thank you for this. Thank you for the 222 viewer raid, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, that's bad. 
Uh, thank you, though. I do appreciate it, man. I need to get my raids, my raid notifications fixed. I was landing on every planet, moon, and starfield going. We don't talk about starfield, okay? Uh, starfield is not a game that we discuss anymore, okay? Starfield never happened, right? It, 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 didn't ex it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I'm forging wrought iron hammers while watching Let's Go Jabster. If you actually are? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Enjoy forging your wrought iron hammers. I have no idea what that means, but good luck. What is Starfield? I, I thought it was Sheffield. From Fallout 4. I thought that's what, what we cared about, right? Not Starfield. Starfield, but every step I lose interest in the game. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I don't know what... Starfield, man. What a fucking letdown. I, that, that game just didn't need to be that much of a letdown. It was just like... I, I noticed, it's definitely during the second video that I made, that like, I was not as interested. The first video, I knew I knew I made a mistake, like, 10 hours in. Because like, I, I was like, oh dude, you know what would be a great challenge? Everyone keeps talking about how Starfield has a thousand planets. What if I made it so I had to land on every single planet in the game? That would be interesting. Yeah. If landing on the planets was fucking interesting. But it's not. <sighs> Does Starfield even fall out far in space? No. Starfield is like Fallout 4 in space, Thanks but they took a gigantic shit over to trade. Let's trade. and then yeah. sure. made a ton let's, of let's randomly generated sell. planets that have nothing in them. Uh, invest. Then let's sell. A bunch of stuff. Keep selling stuff. Perfect. Excuse me. Need some cams? Sub so I'll take a look. Sure. You got needs. I 100% did Starfield ask me about my mental health. <laughs> I'm good, dude. Don't worry. I already know. All right, that's good. And then let's keep heading north. Honestly, I I I was quite like annoyed about Starfield because I was very excited for it and I got invited to all the stuff and it just ended up being shit. <laughs> really, like, I think it made it harder for me to process that the game was bad was was being like invited out to like all of the hosting events and you know getting a free copy of the game like free deluxe edition of the game and collect his items it's kind of cool but i think that also clouded my judgment of the game for like the first 20 hours and then after a while i was like yeah never mind i don't know about this chief <clears throat> do, 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 do. they butted me up yeah they, they butted my ass up and now, like, I feel bad for talking against it because, like, it took me forever to get Bethesda to, like, actually respond to me and, like, invite me to things. But, like, now I'm just like, well, like, I don't like the game, so what am I supposed to do, huh? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the game was enjoyable for, like, the first 10 to 20 hours. It was, like, relatively good. You couldn't make it past the first hour? Okay, I don't think the game was that bad. <laughs> What if you turned off your emotions and thoughts and just forced yourself to live the game in a Stockholm Syndrome-esque way? No, I feel like that was the case probably after the 20 hour mark. When I was doing like the, the, the planet hopping and I kind of got bored of it, I think that's the way it was. It was like, it was very much like Stockholm Syndrome, you know? But until then it was like, I was enjoying the game. It was more just enjoying the premise of like, oh, a new big Bethesda games came out and there's so much to do. And then it ends up being nothing to do, you know? That entire premise just died quite fast. I think that's mostly what it was. <sighs> Do I play any racing games? I play BeamNG a lot. Uh, every now and then I'll just load up BeamNG, play some music, go drifting around. Uh, maybe I'll put plug it in VR. You no know, chill. What's up, Kim Reno? Hope you're doing well, man. Hey, thanks, Chebs. <laughs> Massive titties. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Uh, you know what? I, I really enjoyed the uh, Project Zomboid video. And I'm going to start doing more stuff like that, I think. Because the Project Zomboid video, even though it didn't, like... You could say it wasn't successful, view count wise, which I still disagree with. It still is one of those game uh, videos that I enjoyed every second of making it. I think a lot of people enjoy watching it, so... I mean, I'm not gonna... Why take that away? Dude. Some chipmunk? Froble only in Fallout 4? No, I don't think so. Bread? Bread. I'm going to get milk and eggs. Right. Thanks for making my grocery store trips interesting. Why are you getting bread? Huh? 
What reason do you have for bread, dude? What's that supposed to mean? Fuck you. For sandwiches? Egg sandwiches? Egg for jammy eggs? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Thank you for the two months, man. Hope you had a good one. Enjoy getting the eggs. Eggs, bread. Bread and eggs. Oh, whatever. Get that bread, my man. Get it. Go get the bread. Corn, purified water, food, potatoes. Yeah, if I'm having bread, I have to have beans on it. True. Remember, we're doing the Minuteman ending, which means I need to get a lot of settlements recruited. Which, unfortunately, means I have to do a bit of work. Here we go, boys. You ready for a fun time clearing out this place really fast? Hello? Anyone else in here? Oh, that was two of them. Ooh. Easy life, chat. Not picked up the minigun, it's not worth it. Nice. Also, we got uh, we got a few perks so we can find uh, weapon ammunition now as well in uh, every single one of these lockers and stuff and containers, which is probably good for us. Because if we're going to be checking every single container for bottle caps, we might as well get ammunition too. Because some ammunition is basically just, you know, its own weight and caps. So you might as well just pick them up. So that was a good idea. What was my first impressions of Fallout 4? I actually didn't like Fallout 4, 4 at first. <laughs> A lot of people might dislike me for that, but I, I kind of just... I think what I dislike about Fallout 4 is they they dumbed it down, right? Which is... is which they did. <laughs> like, compared to New Vegas and Free, it felt like this game is a little bit, little bit more like, uh... They expect you not to... not to have played the game. Like, this is definitely more set up to be, like, your first RPG adventure game, right? But then I also just noticed that there was elements of this game that I liked. And then I started to notice I like parts of the game more. Yo, Issue, thank you for the five. Was that, that was really loud, was that loud? Oh, Yo, Issue, thank you for the five community, man. I do appreciate that. That, that was quite loud, my bad. But yeah, no, um, <clears throat> I uh, basically just, like, fought, I, I just didn't like Fallout 4 first, if I'm being honest. I think it was just like, how restricting the game felt, and but also like simultaneously, I kind of got caught in the whole crafting settlement building system that everyone gets caught in, you know. And I think that's what it is. The reality of the situation was I got caught up in settlement building in Fallout 4, and then you know you kind of get addicted to that, and you lose track of uh, where you're going and what you're doing and what's going on story-wise. Yeah, and I, it just kind of got, like, addicted to the min-maxing of the building. Like, I, I'm into, like, management-type games, like RimWorld and stuff like that. So when it came to the settlement building, I kind of just got addicted to it. And then when I when I got back out of it and wanted to do the main story, I kind of lost track of where I was and just didn't give a shit about the game story. So I think what happened was, when I went to go play it back after a while on stream, you know, it was just... It was just... Because I remember replaying it on stream for the first time in ages, and I just really enjoyed it. Then from that on point onwards, we started doing like challenge runs in Fallout 4. Yeah, it's, it, I feel like just taking a break and coming back was what I needed because for me it was like Fallout 3 and New Vegas were very uniform and with with how they were played. And although they weren't linear games, following the story wasn't like too complex. I mean, New Vegas had a bit of a complex story, but I mean, it, you know, it wasn't difficult to to keep your mind set on the game because although there was RPG elements RPG elements outside of the game. Like, sorry. It wasn't as severe with Fallout, like, as it is with Fallout 4. I feel like with Fallout 4, there's, like, a million things to distract you from the main story. So. Or maybe that's just my ADHD. I don't know, dude. I haven't, I haven't got a fucking clue <laughs> at this point. Ooh, also, for people in chat who, um, who don't know, uh, we have a sub alert competition going on in my Discord. Uh, if you want to join in, there is a prize pool of actual money, so I don't know if that matters to you guys. But uh, we have a we have a sub alert competition going on. All you want to do is submit videos in the sub alert competition in my Discord. They'll get randomly picked out, and one of my mods will put them together, and we'll pick the top 20, 30 of the videos sent in. And then what we'll do is we'll put it into a giant Google Doc and let you guys vote on which ones are the best. 
which I think is a good system. Will we do will we be doing this on stream? Yes. This will be all be done on stream, but the actual like submission process is off stream. You guys need to do that. Is it a democracy? Yes. This stream has always been a democracy, a socialist democratic state of you guys get to pick what we do, right? I, don't, I have no say in what we do here on the stream. <laughs> yeah, there's a magazine there. There's money. I was doing it for the love of the game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, usually there's like a $50, $50 for first and $30 for second and third. It's usually what we do. And then I'll, I'll pick like the top 10. Sounds fine to me. Actual money? Yeah, like real money. Not like coupons or discount codes or, <laughs> you know, nothing like that. No, no weird shit. Like, hey, dude, our, our company has uh, reached maximum profits and we've made 10 million in the last year. So here's a coupon code, you know, like fuck none of that stuff. Tesco five pounds off. Yeah. The Democratic Republic of North Korea. That's us, chat. Doesn't that make you feel proud? Knowing that you're a member of the liberal socialist democratic nation of North Korea. <laughs> 250 nectar points? Oh, yeah, true. Jabba, can I have your bath water instead of money? Um, Honestly, yeah, fuck it. Sure. Whatever, dude. Where is the Discord? How do I join the Discord? Where is the Discord? Exclamation mark Discord? Maybe try starting with that? Do we have any water? We do. I'm severely overweight, but that's fine. Um, I have a lot of this stuff that I can just lay off for now. All right, let's. We're gonna do one more vendor run, and then we're gonna continue uh, doing a lot of the, a lot of the. Uh, oh my god, we've stole all the beds. Fuck me. Yeah, we're gonna do one more vendor run, and then we're gonna probably start doing the main story. Forty three nades is insane. <laughs> yeah. I'm severely overweight. Thank you. I am. Yes. Ugh. It's actually weird. For the first time in my life, I've been actually working out. And it's actually so rewarding. I get it now. I get it, dude. Shows the guns. I don't have any yet. The guns are uh, not good. If my, if my arms were guns, they'd be like 45 ACP pistols. <laughs> Some weak shit. Alright, let's go vendor run, boys. Off the covenant to sell off our good stuff. What music do I play while working out? Uh, usually like energetic music, uh, fun music. Stuff that like gets me pumped, you know? Like, uh, maybe Venga Boys. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe the Teletubbies theme song, you know? <laughs> For, for real though, anything that's like, uh, gets me, gets me hyped up. I don't know. Anything that, anything, anything really, I don't really know. Corporate music. Yeah, I put on like, you know, shit like this. Can you imagine trying to work out to this music? If you're hurting, just tell I don't think I could do it, man. Actually, but then, it, but then what about this music? You could work out to this. You could work out to this. You could. Just saying. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we sell off a few more of these things and we are good to go. Thank you. When a mud crab enters the gym, exactly. Hello, please talk to me. Penny. <laughs> My favorite shopper. Need any what's in stock? But the thing is, it's weird. I've not lost weight. Like as in weight on, on the scale. I've lost like a kilogram, which isn't a lot. But um I visibly have like lost. My profile has like reduced. And again, the main thing for it was I started doing pull-ups. I just put a pull-up bar between my kitchen in my kitchen doorway, right? And uh, every time I go into the kitchen to grab food, I have to do at least one pull-up. <laughs> Basically, does you in? Muscle weighs more than fat, yeah, and it's more dense, right? It's like lean, lean meat. Fucking hell, I'm like bloated today. After your VODs, I'm doing the ghost challenge in Dishonored. It only took me like seven hours to finish, so hopefully it doesn't take you too long. Uh, yeah. I'm becoming more dense. Yeah, like Paladin dense. Isn't the pull-up bar Jasmine's? Sorry, am I not allowed to use my girlfriend's pull-up bar? What the fuck is that all about? 
Oh, I want to do exercise. Yeah, but isn't that like, isn't aren't those weights your girlfriends, bro? <laughs> Can't use them. Ooh, a girl touched those weights, dude. Are you gonna touch them? Really, dude? You gonna get the cooties? Ooh, what the fuck? Are you gonna touch that shit? Penny, my favorite. Bathroom shopper. in the dumbbell in the bathroom. Ten stop. reps every time you take a shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not that unhinged. I'm not doing shit like that. All right. I'm just looking after myself, and every, I, I, you know, sometimes I snack a lot, so if I have to do a pull-up for every snack, at least, you know, that snack isn't then 100 plus calories, it's maybe 60 calories. Dr. Patricia. Hello, that's not how it works, but that's how it works in my brain, so. Oh shit, we passed, we, dude, we passed the 40 hour mark, boys. This is now technically the second longest challenge run I've ever done. But the longest one being 47 hours, I think it was. Ooh, a lot of money. Uh, let me do a little bit this, a little bit that. That's one full work week. <laughs> Don't say that, because you make me feel like I'm doing no work at all. <laughs> oh, what? Why is this like this? What is it? Why is it possessed? I don't get it. This is weird, man. I knew the Minutemen would stand by us. Wait a second. Chat? I think... I could be wrong, but I think my water pump is a synth. The thing about it is, I don't know, man. The movements are a bit too robotic. I don't get it. It's wasting water, too. Yeah, look at all that water. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so excited to start Two Worlds 2, Chad. Let me go get it. Bad news, Chet. I might have lost the two worlds too. Limited edition copy that I bought. My bad. Check the kitchen. It could be in... It's probably in my my lounge. Because what I probably did is I probably pulled it out to, to show Jasmine one night when we were probably high. Cause I really like the box. I'm I'm just a fucking loser, all right? Jesus, give me a <laughs> break. Under the alien? It could be behind the alien. Look, look, look. Do you guys ready for this? Here it is. My Magnum Opus, the Two Worlds 2 limited edition PC felt. That is a felt finish. You see you see that? That's a lovely What the fuck is that? That's felt. It's got like a book finish. Uh Okay, the, just want to reiterate before I open this, uh, in case any of the Twitch staff are looking, this is not a Nazi pin, okay? It's not a Nazi pin, I promise you, it's like, the game has a pirate theme, and it's a, it's a... <laughs> okay, look, just, just don't, that's the, wow, it's, oh, that's the code! <laughs> okay, don't show that, the code's on the disc. Two worlds, two boys! Game of the Year edition! I don't know how the fuck there's one Game of the Year for anything, but whatever. That's where we're at. Don't you dare steal that fucking code. I swear to God. I swear to God. Also, doesn't, you can steal the code all you want, because guess what? Guess what, Chad? My dumbass bought a really expensive PC without a fucking disc tray. So buying the Two Worlds 2 limited edition means fucking nothing. Means absolutely nothing! It means nothing! Doesn't matter. I can't play this. I don't have a... It's already gone. Whatever, dude. I don't care. 
I already bought it anyways. Free felt though, yeah. I mean, I just bought it because I wanted it. I wanted the limited. I wanted. I wanted the disc. All right, I wanted it. Okay. There are aliens in my room. I don't mind getting a bit wet, but don't stray too far from the Another shore. day of hard What work. the fuck did she just say? What the fuck? Wait, hold up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> she just said what I. I think she said. Oh, whatever. I take as much of this as I can without going over the weight limit. That should be enough. Never changes. Do you say one ever changes? God damn it. Whatever. Yeah, I had a disc tray in my old one, but uh, when I was taking off the, um, in my old PC, I took off the front of my, my, you know what all, like, your power buttons are and stuff? I pulled it out, and for some reason something ripped in it, and I think my disc tray or some shit stopped working. So, I don't know what happened, man. Building PCs is a pain in the ass. I, I always remember the first time I built my two grand PC, that which was the PC that I was on for, like, most of my Twitch and YouTube career. Uh, I was so nervous when I was building it, I started shaking because it was like two months pay. <laughs> it was like two months pay. So I was like just nervous. I, I remember being I remember being so fucking angry. I was like, oh, and I was hungry too, but I, I, I was refusing to eat until I got it done. And um, I just wanted to eat something so bad. I, I got a Snickers from the from the kitchen and just crammed the entire thing in my mouth in one bite. <laughs> I was so angry. I was like, "Fuck this!" And I just crammed the entire thing in my mouth. Um, I was I was just so angry. I, I don't know, man. I hate building PC. I've never done it since. I've never built a PC since. Not because I can't, just because I choose not to. Yet for some reason, people are weird about that shit. You know, like what's what, dude? You didn't build your own PC? That's kind of like adopting a kid. What the fuck, man? You don't want to have your own children. It's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> you know, that's what people are like. They go, they, they're so weird about it. Um, strong back isn't really useful. Locksmith could be good at this point. Honestly, might even be worth taking. Or we could just get Black Widow for more damage in combat. 5% it isn't really worth it, though. I'd rather get Bloody Mess, but let's go for Locksmith. You didn't build my own house? I did build my own house. Don't worry How about it. Uh. This PC was- this house was built by me. Dude, it's like Lego is like the most bullshit ever. It's like Lego. Yeah, alright dude, let me- let me go buy a Lego kit where one piece of the Lego kit is worth two grand, you know? And it doesn't fit right in the fucking spot it's supposed to be. But if you bend it too much, the Lego brick snaps. Yeah, sure dude, it's like building with Lego. My ass. B play the song. Do I have to build? Do I have to play the song? You guys want to listen to the song? House. Thank you. Also, I've noticed my YouTube is starting to catch on. When it hits nine o'clock, between the hours of of eight and ten p.m., I always get the house building theme recommended to me on YouTube now, even if I'm not streaming. Alright, boys, settle on down for ourselves a little bit of a. Throw a little log on the fire there, little fellas. We're gonna be joining in together with this nice little song. Oh, don't, don't wave goodbye. Sure. What are you talking about? Sure we. All right, fellas. If you know the words, sing along too. I still think Red Dead Redemption 2, 2 until this song starts is a good idea. Me too. <laughs> Me too, man. Alright, I'm gonna sing this song for everyone in chat because fuck it. I like this song and it's been a while. And whatever, dude. <coughs> hey, Doc. Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. I suppose I could... Right, let's sell off a few things. <clears throat> Red Dead playthrough when? I might play the first one at some point. Penny, but I don't I think, think I'll actually ever play the second one on stream. Maybe as like a one-off joke that thing, but... Around. I don't know. Shotgun shells, please. Do, 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 do. Was that was that was that an asshole thing to do? I'm sorry, Chad. 
<laughs> Were you guys actually ready to listen to it? I'm so sorry. Oh, well. All right, we got seven grand. I think now is a good time to probably start moving. Seems to be growing well. Leaving the nest, you know. Moving on with our lives. Growing up as adults. Might be Now might be the time. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to do the stream Red Dead 2 until the house building theme song starts. You know, and then we're, we're going to do that at one point. Isn't that quite far into the game, though? Because I don't think I ever got to the house building part in the game. It's, it's quite far in. <laughs> Am I not drinking the water there? It's right near the end. It's in the epilogue. It's the end of the game. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not. We're not doing that idea. It's been. It's been scrapped. It's cancelled. I'm not gonna play Red Dead Redemption Two on stream. That's it. End of discussion. Okay. You have to commit to the bit now. I am not committing to the bit. You will never watch me play. That game. Okay, Red Dead 2. I'll never play it on stream. If you guys are lucky, I might play Dishonored 2 on stream. Right, let's go back to Ada, and then let's report our success. Let's go do the Minutemen missions. <laughs> it's only 60 hours of playtime? You want me to commit to a one-off joke, a one-off comment on stream that would make a funny little joke, but you want me to commit to it? For 60 hours, just so when I get to the house building theme and it goes, I can go, all right, chat, I'm ending stream. Goodbye. Is that, is that, not the, you, okay, you guys, are, you guys are actually, you guys actually want me to? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I don't suppose we'll be fishing anytime soon. Here you go, Ada, the final radar beacon. You can't even put that on the VOD channel, chat. If it's past 12 hours, it can't be on the VOD channel. What are you talking about? Oh, You're sounding like a, a yellow-bellied coward right now. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut up! Shut don't you fuck off! Moment. There you go. Still in one piece. Fuck off! I'm not sure why you want the head back. All you paid your taxes? Besides, so did everyone else in the chat, Mr. Jabo. You better you beaten. better start paying your taxes well, more. A real pain in the neck. You don't have a neck, Ada. Okay. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help. What the hell did you do to Ada? The people of Finch Farm are very unhappy. You may lose control of the settlement if things do not improve. Didn't I just just get Finch Farm now? Like right now? Access the mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the mechanist would not only keep its mm. location a closely guarded secret, yes. but would secure it against yes. intrusion as well. I'm yes. terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes You're to assisting humans, to I'm support. not doing very well lately. <gasps> Ransor! Put him up for adoption. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my Yes, Finch Farm's near the forge. Yeah, my bad. I feel like I've been failing in my duties. Oh my I god, dude, do we care about Ada? Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced. No, we don't care about Ada. Alright, I'm skipping the dialogue. The thing is, even if this thing has sentient life, you get back to Diamond City. What kind of life is that? You're just floating around. Town I ever saw. Anyways, you guys want to see what we did to Sheffield? I'm just so hungry. Identity oh. confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Yeah, that's Sheffield, so we're not doing too good, boys. You certainly know you Back too hurts. Like My feet hurt. Jezebel's head. Uh, right arm. No right arm. No left arm. Thruster. <laughs> Jezebel, is this good enough for you? Interesting. This body you've selected for me <laughs> isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Oh, God. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it certainly would you guys exist like this? Would you guys exist like as a maybe? Maybe life would be simpler and easier, you know. Look, it's maybe that the ED of the Automatron DLC. ED, Eddie. No, okay, whatever. So, you guys are losers, man. You to know, and then I'll be on my way. Wait, what if we did the Tor solo of Fallout 4, where we just play as a flying robot, as an iBot? That's a really dumb idea. Never mind. Tell me everything you know about the mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject, the mechanist. 
Amazingly, I have no mouth, but I must scream. I knew there was some good left inside that. Jebo, am I excited for the Kanye West album tomorrow? I don't think you understand. Not really, considering the last album was kind of half ass, half okay. I'll just uh, you know, and also, uh, who gives a fuck about Kanye anymore? <laughs> Guys, like, sure. I don't know. I can't be fucked. It's actually, you can I'll listen to it, but eh. just tell Sir, it's rather in order to out there. All right, play this. this is an absolute banger. I clicked on it and then closed it, but it still played the sound. So, you know, technically I caught that before it played any of the sounds, and you didn't actually get me, but whatever, dude. It, whatever, you, let's just pretend you did. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't uh, difficult. I got what we needed. We heard it? No, you didn't! I need to outfit a cup All of this is just so it's annoying. Time to confront the mechanist. I hope now, would you Of course, Ada. Let's go. Lead the way. Sure. Actually, I'm happy to please take your components. Hey. Hey, out here. You What's gotta up? take them yes. one day at a time. Hey, Ada. What can I do for you? I no longer I hope Can I, I can disable her personality? I think the best place to put her cuz she's going to be near the atomic star. It might be the best to put her at the castle. But then again, we'll be coming back to the Taffington Road House anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, boys. We're gonna disable this mission for a bit, and we're gonna go do the rest of these. Because we need to go do a lot of the, uh, recruiting of settlers, settlements, uh, all that shebang, forming ranks, that's it. Recruit more settlements for the Minutemen. Shouldn't be too hard. We could probably go do, uh, fire support for the Brotherhood of Steel if you guys want to. But I don't know if I can be fucked. We're not, we're not siding with the Brotherhood of Steel anyways, so... Dude, guys, I got Rick rolled. Get over it. I clicked the link in the chat. It's never going to happen again. Okay, you guys have fucked it for yourselves now. All right, yeah, great. I'm never going to click on your stupid links again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuck you. All right, anyways, uh, let's have a look at the map and see where we're going. Uh, we can go up north here. We should probably do that to, to do Zimonja. All right, let's go do Nod Hagen Beach and then Hagen Beach, then Zimonja, and then make our way back to Abernathy Farm. We should have enough caps to do that. We have a lot, so. Don't much care for good. Yeah, every step everywhere costs, costs a camp. No matter where it is. We're gonna take about a good chunk of these in case I need any extra money. We're good to go. Nothing to trouble. When was the last time you got gnomed? Uh, it's virtually impossible to gnome me, so good luck with that. <laughs> Lost track of how many blisters are. Yeah, good luck with that, man. Oh, uh, now, now are we doing all these, like, dragon... Imagine dragons type shit, you know? Are we doing all quests? We're doing all the DLCs and then the main story. We've already done Automatron. Nope. We've already done Vault 88, Nuke World, Far Harbor, and we're doing Automatron. It's like the last one we got left. And then we're doing the Minutemen ending. So now we have Automatron to do, but I'm going to go do uh, the Minutemen stuff first. So we're going to set up for the Minutemen, do all their missions until we get to the second time we go to the castle. And because the second time we go to the castle, it's like all the way down here, which uh, we need to be here for the Automatron quest. I might as well just do the Minutemen quest line until we have to go back to the castle. And on the way, do the the, the Automatron quest. Does that make sense? Because there's no reason to go down here anyways. So do the Minutemen stuff. Get called back to the castle. On the way down, do Automatron. Do the castle. Set ourselves up for the ending. Go to the Institute. End the game. Shouldn't be hard. That's our plan. Uh, will we get it done today? I don't know. We'll see. The goal is to get it done today. Interesting. In Jabba we trust. Thank you. Is that legendary? I'm getting a lot more legendaries now. I mean, it's quite normal for survival late game, but fuck me. What happens if you lose count and run out of caps? Uh, if I run out of caps, I die and have to load the previous save, but that's not happened yet. Honestly, at this point, it's just this is just an excuse to play the game and have like a restriction and a fun way to play it. Like, you know, a, a different set of rules. Uh, it's not really too much of a challenge anymore. It's just more like reaping the reaping the rewards for our actions i guess you know i spent ages managing the caps and stuff making sure it was all set up and now we can actually play the game so it's like like payoff what the fuck is this i bought pod <laughs> the fuck <laughs> yeah, but would you ever do a divinity or battle balls get free playthrough not on stream I definitely will, like, as a person. I've, I've played Divinity Original Sin 2. I've got Ballers Get Free installed. I just don't have the time to play it right now. But it's definitely going to be a game I go around to playing. It's just... 
I don't think I'd enjoy streaming it. I think those are the types of games where you'd have like people in your chat who aren't a part of your chat and not like ruining the game for you. If I stream Baldur's Gate free, I'd have Baldur's Gate free losers in my chat telling me everything to do. <laughs> you know, it's like, ah. Uh. Do you have a world record in Fallout? I do, I have a few. I have the Fallout Anthology glitchless world record, the Fallout Anthology glitched world record. I have the... I think that's it. Do I, I think I have the Fallout for all achievements and maybe the New Vegas all achievements. I might have lost that one. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Because uh, for the longest time I had pretty much most of the Fallout free longer category world records and now I don't. And it's kind of cool because I've always wanted the Fallout free speedruns to be a bit more well recepted. Respected? Re well accepted. The problem with uh, Fallout free speedrunning though and Fallout speedrunning in general is people aren't really doing it as much lately. So... Uh, it kind of sucks. I'll do more Skyrim. Yep. The plan is to do one Fallout video, one Elder Scrolls video, and then one variety video right now. We're just going to stick to that kind of routine. Wish Oblivion had achievements on Steam. Yeah. Oblivion has achievements on Xbox 360. Xbox 360. Some games have achievements on Xbox 360 where they don't on PlayStation and Steam. It's weird. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Fallout 3 does. But since when did non-legendary protectrons blow up? I, it might be that very specific type of protectron. <laughs> I don't know. Am I excited for the upcoming TV show on Fallout London? Um, I'm excited for Fallout London because I think Fallout London is going to be a very big project. And, you know, with, with big mods like that, unless, like, some major fuck-up happens, there's never really a negativeness to it. If that makes sense? It's, it's just positive, right? You're getting a free expansion. Why would you complain about that? But at the same time, I'm not really gonna get myself pumped for it. I'll play it when it comes out, and I'll make a video on it when it comes out, but I'm not, like, setting aside my emotions. After, after what happened to Fallout Frontiers. Oh my god, you're so loud! Just stop! Um, whereas the Fallout TV show, I'm, I'm kind of wary of. Let's, let's just start a fight with these guys, boys. We'll wait for them to come by, okay? Shh, everyone be quiet. We're gonna... It's another great day out here at the track. We're gonna, we're gonna take out these people, Chad. What kind of gun is that? I have an explosive combat shotgun. You got a good clean race today. Absolutely no funny business. Right. As soon as this goes off, we're gonna go in and just kill everyone here. It's gonna be so easy. As soon as they come around this bend. All right. Back to the track. Here we go, Chad. All, all of them. Quantum punishment thanks to the tier one. Oh, look at them racing, boys. They're so innocent. So innocent. Just having a great time. Obliterate them. Yes, sir. Easy. Yeah, this weapon is like incredibly overpowered. As you can see. Uh, dude, this is my favorite weapon. This is like, explosive combat shotguns are so rare, you have to play with it when you get it. I told you guys this weapon would be OP. I literally said to you guys, as soon as I got it, I pog champed the fuck out of my mind. Oh my god, I always forget the best way to get up top of you. God damn. Where's this guy? Yeah, I have to be careful as well. Make sure you're not, like, killing yourself with the explosives. We good? Or are you just good to leave now? Bleeding shock and explosive? Uh, I personally prefer to prefer explosive. Explosive gives you range. Because uh, the, the thing about shotguns is the damage diminishes the longer the, the range, right? But with explosive shotguns, you don't you don't even have to hit the target because it, it does like an AOE effect, right? So if I shoot someone, let's just say this lamppost is a person, I don't have to shoot this person. I can just shoot there and every single bullet, every single explosive effect will hit them. Even if it's from like miles away, you know? It doesn't matter. So that's, that's why I like it. I'm doing a perkless and armless survival run in this right now and I'm so scared of exploding to death with spray and pray. As long as it's not permadeath, you should be fine. Um, but get, make sure you get, like, a dense, uh, combat chest piece. 
You can find chest pieces that have dents on them. Uh, dents, if you get two, two armor effects of dents, you won't take any explosive damage, I think. And if you take one, it's 50%. Oh, you said armorless. Oh shit, good luck then. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> good luck. Holy shit, you're done. Yes, I'm here to help. Good What's luck with that on? stuff. I couldn't do that. That That's basically like Hitler's. Stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We mm. know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Hmm. Taken care of. I took care of some raiders earlier. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we decided to support. No, you the didn't. Minutemen. No, you didn't. It's worth you didn't talk about chance. it. I was. I've been looking at you the, the entire only way time. Things will get better is if we stand together. You didn't talk about shit. What are you talking about? We talked about it. You just... <sighs> Alright, whatever, dude. The Minutemen are so back. <laughs> uh, I guess on the way up, we can go to um, Zamonja, do that, and then uh, head back to Abenafi Farm and then talk to Preston Garvey. That should basically do all of them. Uh, again, Ransaw, thanks to the nine months, man. Thank you for the baby. Derek, thanks to the 15 months. Yin Shogun, thank you for the tier one. Issue game, thank you for the five community gift subs too. And Quantum, thank you for the tier one. Who am I siding with? We decided to side with the Minutemen. Uh, my chat tried to uh, to tie the the, uh, the vote because we always do polls. My chat tried to tie the poll and then what happened was uh, now we're stuck with Minutemen. So thanks, chat. We have to do like the shittest ending <laughs> in the game. Uh, where are you? I can see him behind this. There we go. Can we pull that statement? No. Excuse me, sir? Maybe we should do a poll in chat as to whether or not I should be allowed to use his weapon. I don't know. Yes? Wait, would you guys make me drop this weapon? Are you kidding? You guys would make me drop this weapon. I would just... I would just make this weapon OP. The bleeding uh, submachine gun. I would just make it fully automatic bleeding. And then you got it would just be just as strong. <laughs> I've got two OP weapons, chat. Technically free. I have a two-shot um, lever action. An explosive combat shotgun and a bleeding combat rifle. I, no matter what I do with any of those weapons, they're going to be OP. The combat shotgun just happens to be the best. It's inconvenient. You you want it to be inconvenient? That's fair, dude. I fair. That's fair. But at the same time, I'm not going to drop this weapon no matter what you guys did. And I didn't start that poll, so the answer to that poll does not make a difference to what I do. Okay? So just just getting that out there. Okay. When did we, did we choose in, in uh, Nuka World? We chose the um, the slaver ending. We sided with the, uh, the guys who were being oppressed by just killing off all the raiders really fast. It's usually what I do when I don't want to actually do Nuka World, but chat wants me to. <laughs> and hey, chat was wanting me to do it. Look at the poll. Okay. Okay, you guys can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to uh, actually 50 50 did. it. Is anyone here? Other than just uh, an empty vertebra and some turrets. I was here, boys. Were that talented? There's anything but my chat about my chat, dude. My chat is definitely talented, all right. And you know what you should do, chat? You should keep that talent hidden because fuck me. Okay, thank you for that. Please keep it a secret. Oh my god! Fuck me. Does this place always have a vertebrate on the roof? I don't think so. I think it's only there when you uh, unlock the Brother Brotherhood of Steel after doing uh, Kellogg's quest. Usually, it's, there's nothing on there, so. I got a two-shot plasma flame floor. It's so broken in close range. Oh my god. That sounds ridiculous. I think the most overpowered weapon pot potentially for just straight up damage output could just be a never-ending combat shotgun. Because the combat shotgun, not combat shotgun, uh, double barrel, because the double barrel does technically more damage than the combat shotgun. And if it's never-ending, it's got like uh, trigger fire, right? So you can just did a Spam it. So if you have a never-ending uh, double barrel shotgun, you can just spam the thing. I've only ever had one once. It was incredibly overpowered. <laughs> Ex 
explodes atomic gun is best? Uh, I don't think so. I, I'm not a huge fan of explosive uh, fully automatics. I don't think they're as good as the combat shotgun. Because this combat shotgun does 15 damage per explosive pellet, right? And every single sh uh, shot fires 8. So the spray and pray would have to do 8 shots of damage to do the same amount of damage as this shotgun does in one shot. So yeah, I, I prefer the combat shotgun, if I'm being honest. Because it just outputs way more damage for way less. And also it does a, a base damage on top of that. Because it's only um, 15 sh damage per pellet. There's 8. 120. So that's 120. Is it 100, 8 times 15? No, it's... Yeah, 8 times 15 would be 120. Right, so you get 120. Then you can add bonuses on top of that for like explosive perks and stuff, which I do have. So I have double explosive damage. Plus an extra 15%. So we're looking at what? 30... If the maths is correct, we're looking at 34.5 damage per pellet, which we're going to round up to 35, right? 35 times 8, fuck me, is uh, 280. Uh, 280 damage plus the base damage of uh, 280 on top of that. So what? We're doing 567 damage? Fuck me. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't show my work on paper. Sorry, my man. Sorry, man. And the explosive damage is flat damage as well, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, what up, all hail Caligula, Gula, and thank you for the uh, tier one, man. Welcome in. Do you have a big brain? No, I've just always been good at maths, but not like I'm not like one of those guys who could do like ten thousand times six hundred twenty-eight divided by twelve in their head. I could just do like basic maths because I like I don't know. I. It's just simple to me. It's not that hard. We knew that. <laughs> you butchered that so bad. What, the maths? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> what am I doing to keep my cap count up? Um, I am. To keep my cap count up, I have a water empire. Yeah, I, I, I hated maths at the same time. I always hated maths. I feel like anybody that likes maths and anybody that doesn't like maths hates maths. I think most people just actually just fucking hate maths because it's like horrible, you know? Should I use the... Do you guys want me to use the missile launcher? On the guy with the fat man coming up? The caps still go down if you jump? Yes. It was my favorite subject. Uh, graphics design... design was always my favorite subject. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a... <laughs> either that or um, just editing, like media studies. History is always really cool, but they, they always teach you the most boring part of history. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> In school, we were told we were going to learn about World War II, right? And I, was, I, I got excited. I was like, dude, fucking D-Day, you know, like all the crazy fucking battles. We're going to learn about everything to do with World War II. I was so excited for it, and I don't mean this in the in the in like a mean way, but we ended up learning about like the most boring shit to do with World War Two, and it was just like so sad. <laughs> you heard? I heard you ate a family of six. You heard correctly. Just oop. No, we learned about the Blitz. We learned about- dude, we spent all of our time learning about World War II. Was learning about the Blitz. And suffragette, Suffragettes. And Suffragette history is, is- is interesting. But it's not interesting to like a 12 year old boy who wants to learn about World War II. So... Push all over it. Yeah. No more? <clears throat> were, were you romanticizing war again? Um... I... No, I just... You know, as a kid, I, I just... I mean, I was, I was a child, man! Children do that shit! That's kind of like... That's, you know, whatever! <laughs> Come on! Well, I'm not supposed to have a moral, co moral compass at 12, am I? <laughs> oh, shit! We killed something! 
I missed that shot. We got the main guy though. Oh, there you go. Wow, Jabo thinks war is cool. Wow. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow, you think war's cool, huh? Wow, you. you wow. Wow. Look, check him out, guy. This this guy likes capitalism and supports war. You heard him. Okay, I'm I'm literally getting rid of you because you've just been really, really awkward and cringe all stream. Hell yeah. Please stop. Thank you. If that's what I have to say to get you to stop, please. I'll do it, dude, man. Please. Free mini nukes. Oh, that's not going to be able to fly. I'm not going to be able to carry that, for sure. Drop load one of them. I don't think that's a rook. That's not a recruitment beacon. But I do have an enough to sell. I just need to build the recruitment beacon itself. We're good to go. Oh, there we go. Nice. I think I just need to attach that to this. Yeah, we should be done. Yep, perfect. Jabba, you like war? Name all of them. All right, uh, the French war. The 100-year French war. The 12-year French war. The second French war. The revolutionary French war. The domestic French war. The domestic international French war. The French war of New Guinea. The French war of Normandy. The French war of the Belge. The French war of Netherlands. The French invasion of the UK, the French war with the UK, the Roses War, the Five Family War, the World War One, the Great War, <laughs> World War Two. <laughs> Every single, you know, civil country, space, civil war. Wow, dude, he knows so much. Holy shit. Damn. Enough for the French wars. The French are like the nation that's been at war the most. That's the one you gotta start with, man. All right, boys, we're running back across the the world, ac across the Commonwealth. Let's go! Yippee! Oh shit! You know what? Turn this up. Turn turn this up right now. Good luck, boys. War never changes. True. Not true at all, but true. Sweden and Denmark? That doesn't count. The BFFs, that doesn't count. Yo, Jet! Thank you for the tier one! Holy shit! Did you name your account after Taylor Swift's most famous mode of transport? Thank you for the tier one subscription, man. Welcome in. <clears throat> did I already do Far Harbor? I did. Far Harbor, Nuka World, and Vault 88. Hey, doggy. I'm gonna use this weapon for a bit. What's my first video game? My first video game of all time uh, that I can remember was probably either Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, or the original, original Sonics. Because it was a Sega Mega Drive game, and I remember for, for the longest time I only had Sega... I only had Sonic games. Golden Axe and Streets of Rage. So, it had to be one of those, I think. Again, I don't really remember. Dude, I used to love Golden Axe. It's just, Golden Axe is one of those games that have been lost to time. Like, Streets of Rage has been recognized and has made comebacks. Golden Axe didn't. Like, we need a new one, you know? Alright, hey, Stinky Zinky, good luck with that, man. You take too long. Hey, Supercut. Good luck with that stuff, man. I hope it goes well. You're a saint. Who do I got for the Super Bowl? Who does Taylor Swift's uh, boyfriend play for? Husband. His team. I'm just I'm just a really big... I'm a huge uh, Swifty, so... It's going pretty good, Staganov. Ding, bang, bosh. Goodbye. Kansas City. Ooh, a double barrel shotgun. Yippee! 
Oh my lord! I love Tear Tear. I do love Taylor Swift, dude. She's the best, man. Woo! We're just going crazy today, boys! I don't know what the fuck is happening at this point. Hello? Oh, dog meat! Dog meat, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, look, I have mistakes in mid chat, it's fine. You're allowed to make mistakes in life, alright? So what, I accidentally blasted dog meat. Yo, make fun of me. Thank you for the gift sub to Dirtbag Barber. Congratulations on getting the gift sub, my good friend. Don't waste your sub alert. Use your emotes and yeah, good luck. New what do you think about the Fall of Fall uh, London project? I think if somebody in chat asks me one more time, one more fucking time about Fall of Fall London, I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go, go I'm gonna go crazy, dude. I'm gonna go insane. I might just go fucking mental. Hmm. Might just fucking start doing some crazy shit. I'm gonna play it. All right, calm down. I'm gonna play it. God. That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need. But your thoughts on Fallout Australia? We got a decent work. Actually, you know, it looks pretty good. I was quite excited for it. You gonna side with the Minutemen? I just need to trade gear with you. Go ahead. Yeah, give me all your shit. Is that the is that the Brotherhood of Steel outside? One sec, chat. We gotta deal with a bit of pest problem. Got ourselves a bit of an infestation. <laughs> no, please! It's coming right towards. All right, chat. Seems to be growing well. That's how you deal with an entire platoon of uh, Brotherhood of Steel elite soldiers who spent the last seven years of their life training just for that exact moment to be shot out of the sky by a man with a shotgun with two shells. Fuck me. What a sad life, you know? Imagine that shit. You're training from, from like 10 years old. You know, you just got past flight school. You're able to fly your first and you just immediately get shot down. God. All right. We have now, hopefully, one, two, three, I think. One, two. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so now if we go back to Preston Garvey, we should be able to hand in both of these, and we've got way more settlements, which should be good. Hopefully, with that being said, we might be able to initiate the second half of the Minutemen storyline. Do you think you can win against a legendary swan mod with this combat sh shotgun? I don't think... I think at this point, nothing could... I, I don't think I'd struggle to kill anything in this game at this point. If I'm being honest. Um, we've got, like... Nearly a fully upgraded explosive combat shotgun with, you know, full... We, we, we still don't have level 46 of this, so we're three levels away from having this, which is 25% um, more damage and ignores an extra 30% of armor. But we have this pretty much set up. We have over 200% we have 200 explosive damage. You know, we're doing, what, 350 damage plus, like, 30 damage per... Shell times eight. Yeah, we've already been over this a million times. It's a lot of damage, and I, I I don't think I'm gonna struggle with anything at this point. I think it's pretty much over. Are you an Enclave Carl or Brotherhood Bill? I think the Enclave has cooler armor, if that makes sense. You know? I think the Enclave has, like, the cooler looking armor. Looks more awesome. I think the Brotherhood of Steel are a lot more interesting in Fallout 1, 2. Even in free, I find them a lot more interesting than they are in this game. Apparently, the castle's been trying to get you. What's on the, the cap timer? Some the timer. Over there. Better go see what's going on. Oh, castle part two. You sent me to and set up a radio beacon. We got castle part two now. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlement. Uh, in the meantime. Uh -huh. Hey, what a pro tan! You glad you I finished watching all my past Fallout streams? people there have decided to join our cause. There's no- Who the fuck are you? Get out of my face, man! Mm. Alright, we've done, we've done his quests. He's marked another one on our map. We're not gonna go do that. We have to do the castle now, okay? 
return to the castle. What we'll do on the way down is we'll talk to Ada as well. And we'll grab her while we're at it and we'll do Automatron first, okay? That's what we're gonna do, chat. Right, we're at that point now where we're gonna start doing the Automatron, Automatron ending of the DLC. We'll go grab Ada, we'll leave off a lot of stuff, we'll grab a, maybe two more vendor runs. And then we, we should be fine, honestly. Am I gonna attack the Brotherhood of Steel as the Minutemen? Yes. We're going for the Minutemen ending, and I've already been, like, hostile to the Brotherhood of Steel, so... Oh, you mean this set of streams? I thought you meant you'd watched every single Fallout stream before this, which I thought would be a bit ridiculous. It's like 2,000 hours. When are we gonna play Zomboid? Uh, our next challenge is gonna be Two Worlds 2. Maybe a Morrowind one. I actually was wanting to ask you guys about that. Sure. What would you guys want me to do next? Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. I, I was thinking we do either a casual stream or two in between. So as soon as we're done with this, we do like a casual stream. Chill. Do two, right? Then we can either do one or two streams of Morrowind Millionaire or two Worlds 2 for a week. I think we do Morrowind Millionaire streams. We get them over and done with, and then we do a week of two Worlds 2. That way, both videos can be worked on at the same time. Because then what I can do is I can have one editor go off and do the Morrowind video. Uh, and then have another editor go off and do Two Worlds 2. Plus, doing Morrowind then Two Worlds 2 might be cool. But I also have a Skyrim challenge mod that we can do next. So I'm not too sure what I want to do. You know, I'm on, I'm on the edge. I'm edging. <laughs> no. Four hundred from you. Thank you. Yo, midnight rain. Oh, sorry. I'm Edge. <laughs> midnight rain. Thank you for the prime. Welcome in. You can do Minutemen and allow everyone to live. Nah, nah. Fuck that. No, the Mar the Morrowind challenge is gonna be millionaire and Morrowind. So I don't know how long that's gonna take. Thank you, Ephenis. I appreciate that. We've been trying to step up the editing. At least I have, anyways. Um, I need to stop getting into holes of over-editing, over though. The I think that's my main concern, is a lot of video projects that aren't Fallout, I tend to, like, like edit them way too much. <laughs> for example, this recent Zomboid video, I was kind of editing that for, like, two to three weeks, when I really should just do the intro and move on, And but eh, it is what it is. Morrowind tile run? No, the Morrowind challenge would be how long would it take to be to, to, to reach the millionaire status. Because uh, I, I kind of want to go back to doing those videos. Are you starting to feel more comfortable with variety videos on the main channel? I know you said this year is more go with the flow and I'm all for it. Yes, I, I would 100% say so. I've, I've become a lot more accustomed. My imposter syndrome when it comes to that type of stuff is definitely not a thing as much anymore. It's like, it, when, it just, how do I put this? When you take a step back and realize why some things don't work, and you know, it, and you just actually think about it, it makes sense, you know? If I have an audience of Fallout 4 and Skyrim fans and then just upload a, you know, Sims or Project Zomboid video, it doesn't matter how good that video is. A lot of people aren't going to watch it. So, you know, you can't exactly get mad that people choose not to watch something when it's not usually what you provide. I just want to get to the point where at least, like, a majority of you guys, or my core audience, that is, will sit, see that video, see the variety video, and go, well, at, at least, you know, it, it, I might as well watch it. Might as well put it on. It could be good. And then, you know, you guys enjoy that stuff. So that, that's kind of my mindset on it now, is... I release that stuff so the people that want to watch it can watch it, and then I try and min-max how well the video does still at the same time, but not really too much of a, of a worry, if that makes sense. It's just, it's just one of those things. I hit it when you don't stream. Sometimes I need to take days off to, to work on YouTube, and sometimes I need days off just to reset, you know? It, the thing about streaming is I'm, I don't stream for the sake of it. I've never really been a guy to stream for the sake of it. Um, Usually I, I start to hate streaming when you do it like that, when you just stream for the, for the sole purpose of streaming, you know? I'm not here to, to just stream 12 hours a day. I, I, I want to go live with a purpose for the stream, like to, whether that's for a video or to do like something really stupid, like, hey, I'm playing this game, but until I die and then I'm ending the stream, because that to me is fun, um, if that makes sense. So yeah. 
I don't know what we were talking about, but... I'm enjoying streaming, and I stream when I can, and I stream what I want to, and I am enjoying making variety videos. It's been, it's been going well, so I can't complain. Yeah. Obviously, like everyone else, I, I do wish my videos did better. <laughs> you know, everyone thinks that way. We get greedy. We want things to go better, but if I actually take a step back and look at my channel, I, I have no complaints. I do this for a job, you know? You can't complain about doing this for a job. I could be getting 50k views a video, and it, I'd still be relatively fine, so... I'm good. Yeah. Will a long drive come back? Honestly? A part of me wants to make a long drive video, but I don't think that'll work. I need to just stop myself from these stupid ideas, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, my channel does really... A lot of people, like, really don't understand YouTube when they look at my channel and go, Ah, oh, his channel's not doing well. My little brother did that. I remember when I told my family I was doing YouTube first time, full time, my little brother turned around to me and was like, but you only get like 100k views a video. And I was like, I just, I just remember saying to him, do you not know how much, like, how much, do you don't know how much money I make? How much money do you think I make from 100k, two videos getting 100k in a month? And he was like, oh, probably like $100. Yeah, so some people just don't understand. Some people don't understand like the ins and outs of YouTube and that's it. It's whatever, dude. Drunk driving simulator would be fun. What about, uh, long drive, but every time I die, I take a shot. <laughs> you need any doctoring? How many know. siblings do I have? Could use some supplies, actually. A lot. A lot. Um, I have, in my family, there's six boys and five girls. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's called being, um, born into, you know, you know, you know when people like, I don't know how to word this, you know, you gotta survive somehow, and when you're in areas where you don't have any way of making money, you know, having kids is a good way to hey, make Penny. money. <laughs> My favorite shopper. <laughs> Need anything? Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I would agree, Jet, Jet. My content's gonna, that's what I like about my channel. Uh, if I had to say the one thing I like about my channel good. the most, and the one thing that I, I'm so proud of with my channel, is I feel like my videos get better over time. Like my videos, if you watch a video from mine from six months ago and compare it to now, it's better. Uh, my videos now are better. If you compare a video from a year ago to six months ago, the six months ago are better, right? I always feel like we're trying to improve or at least introduce something new in every video, uh, which is really helps with motivation, actually, when you're thinking that way. When you're thinking, oh, what can I do new? What can I do next? What can I like? What's something that can make people go, Oh shit, dude, that was pretty cool. With the recent video, I kind of just went ham with the intro, and I tried to like... This is the first intro I'd done in a long time, where I picked the music out first, and I think you can tell that by watching the intro. Uh, but yeah. It's like, YouTube is, to me, is like... one Part of YouTube is also just the process. Because if you can't enjoy the process of making videos, then what's the point? <laughs> you know, what's the point? <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of siblings, but once you have, like, a family member's- uh, Once you past- If anyone in this chat has a family mem- like, family of over, like, six people, once you get past, like, four members of the family, it stops becoming, like, a big family and starts becoming, like, you can choose who you hang around with, you know? It's not like I was friends- I'm not, like- I wasn't, like, friends with every single member of my family growing up. I just hung around with, like, my older brothers who played games and my little brothers who played games. You know? <laughs> you don't have time for that with the rest of them. Whatever, dude. Like, to me, it was like, I'm in class. I don't want to be friends with everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's just a group chat. Yeah. Uh, dude. I do have a VOD channel, yes. It's called Jabba's Dumpster. Uh, it's usually pretty well updated. Why am I sleeping with a dead body? Uh, it's Penny's husband. He died, and we're honoring him by sleeping with him every night. Do we have gang wars of each other? No. If you're hurting, just tell the doctor. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right. Why don't you call this Jabbo Skip? Because, uh, you motherfuckers don't know what a skip is. <clears throat> I just sell off a bunch of stuff. I just want an extra load of uh, money. Does my family watch my videos? Um, no, kind of. Apparently they do, apparently they don't. It depends. Uh, I don't really... Seems to be growing well. I think they more watched my content when it was first a thing because it was like kind of cool, right? Oh, dude, 
Our, our son does fuck all for a living. Look at this, dude. What a useless piece of shit. He's playing video games. What a loser, you know? It was like that. Now it's like, oh, we don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I kind of prefer it that way. Because uh, I, I prefer it when I don't have my little brother or little sister messaging me every single thing that's in my video and being like, oh my god, that was so funny. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why it's in the video, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what else it was as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, nothing really else to say. Do my siblings still play video games? Honestly, you want to know the saddest thing? The saddest thing that's came out of like being somebody who's never been separated from games is seeing people get separated from video games. Because, like, I see some of my family members who used to be, like, super into uh, video games not play video games anymore. That's kind of sad. But that's also, like, life, right? So, it is what it is. And it's like, oh, like, I remember I went on a holiday. And it's like, oh, what games do you play? You know, like, oh, you've been playing anything? You, you know, I was just like... Because one of my brothers got me into Fallout. Not Fallout. Like, was the ones that helped me get into uh, Oblivion and stuff. Because my friend gave me the disc. And we sat down and played it. And I was like, oh, maybe time, maybe he's played Starfield. Years. You know, I don't like Starfield, but I'll start a conversation. And then it's like, no, what games do you play? Oh, FIFA. What? FIFA. What's the point, dude? What's the point? I can't talk about FIFA. Oh, yes, dude. I, I saw that in the new FIFA game, they changed the, uh, the, the... I don't know what they did. I don't... What did they do, huh? What did they change from the last game? <laughs> Tell me. It's Jova. It's FC now. Yeah, they don't even they don't, they don't even have the fucking FIFA rights. <laughs> oh god. All right, let's time to turn on the uh MSAT thing in uh we'll put it in Ada. We'll take it with us. Why not, you know? Yeah, boy, I just deep fried my nuts. A pleasure to see you again, man. Congratulations. Are you ready to depart? Do you guys not think the new FIFA game looks worse? I think it looks Time worse. The, the new one Wonderful. looks looks like shit. It looks so bad. Oh, I should just count as a companion. Hey, All right, let's go, boys. Living. Now I have to be careful here because technically I don't hey, have. Do some trading? Sure. Let's take a look. Great. Technically, I don't have much um, protection now. We've lost a lot of our protection because we have a companion with us, and most of my protection that I have comes from flat reduction from uh, Lone Wanderer. So, unfortunately, we don't have that anymore, so we have to be a bit careful going into this. Like I said before, we're going to go down to the castle, uh, but we have access to the Mechanist Lair, too. <sighs> yeah, let's go down here to Bunker Hill, cross this river and down, do the Mechanist Lair, do this back, and then go do the castle. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Jabba, I'm looking to get a PC that won't break the bank. Any advice? Uh, first advice is don't listen to anyone that says, hey man, just wait for the next graphics cards to come out because it will, it'll reduce the price of uh, your system. Blah, 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 blah. Because if you do that, you're going to be stuck not having a PC for like the next 20 years of your life, waiting for the 50X series to come out. Uh, but the next better, best advice is not to ask me. I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> I would say probably just like an i7 graphics card and a... Maybe like a 1080 might do you. Can't imagine you need much more. I mean, do you need much more than that nowadays? You probably do. I don't know. I have a, I have a crazy PC. And even my PC lags at times now, so. A 3060? Steam Deck's really cool, but the problem with the Steam Deck is uh, you have to play, you know, like with the controller. Some people want to play keyboard and mouse. i7 graphics. Oh, i7 CPU. Fuck me. Sorry, man. The budget GPU market sucks these days. Wait, have, has the GPU have GPUs not went down in price since like NFTs and crypto kind of like went under the under the ground in the dirt where it belongs? Nvidia raised the prices. So do we like not like Nvidia anymore? Shit. You can dock your Steam Deck and use it with a keyboard and mouse. Can you? What the fuck? Damn. 
You bought a pre-build for 2.3k? Hey, listen, man. There's nothing wrong with uh, building a pre-build. Look, some of us are pussies in life, and that's fine, man. Me too. I built my first two PCs. Never again. Never fucking again, all right? Because it's too stressful. Let's duck out decks. Chat. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't even dare put my deck next to your dock. Because I know for a fine fact you do not wash your dock on a weekly basis, all right? Learn how to get your fingers down there and clean your dock, and then maybe I might put my deck in your dock, and we can dock each other, and maybe deck each other at the same time. But until you clean your dock, I'm not decking you, all right? Get over it. Hi, I'm Meg. Fucking Twitch chat. Is she not around here? There she is. Why is she always here? Welcome back. Looking to trade? Yes. Right? Sure. Let's take a look. You Plink got plonk. Gas? I got... Shotgun shells! Thank you! Sometimes she doesn't sell them, and it's kind of... Sad. I'll just take him. Alright, let's go, boys. Right! We have not enough ammo, to be honest with you, to get through the entirety of, um... The entirety of the Automatron DLC, so I'm gonna go back to Diamond City to get more, just in case. Two seconds, though. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we heard? Oh, okay, whatever. We already did the Vault 88 DLC. It's already done, man. The only DLC I have left to do is Automatron at this point. Do you have any, any other games you want to try and get the Millionaire in? Um, RimWorld. But I think it's already been done, and uh, also... I don't know if my chat would let me do it. I'm trying to think what else as well. There, there are other games, but they kind of have to be like games where reaching a million is kind of out of the question. You know what I mean? Like most people don't want to reach the millionaire status in the, these games. I think Sims might be a good one. Because although reaching a million in Sims is doable, it's also like incomprehensible to a lot of players. Rimworld is very, very hard to do that in because the, the amount of like damage you receive from attacks well, the bigger the attack against you is determined by how much value you have in your property. So the more value you have in your property, the bigger the attacks. Jab Jabba, could you congratulate me for finishing my maths no test? Returns, exchanges, or death threats. Congratulations on completing your maths test. You did it, Jay. Good shit, man. That wasn't sarcastic. I just don't have any energy. <laughs> I'm- I'm so fucking ecstatic right now. You can't see it on my face, but I actually might have just creamed- <laughs> Why'd you gotta be like this, man? What the fuck do you gotta say shit like this? Jesus Christ. What's a good editing program? Um... I don't like Adobe, but Premiere Pro is usually the best one, I would say. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Adobe because their prices are way too high. Um... But because it, I need it as part of my job, I don't really, really, you know. <clears throat> I think Premiere Pro is the best editing software, personally. I'm a huge Premiere Pro fan. Um, it has some good support. It's universally used. You're not really going to struggle to solve problems with Premiere Pro. Uh, it's interusable with After Effects, Media Encoder, and Photoshop, which makes it a lot easier to do my job. I don't know. A lot of people hate Premiere Pro, but I fucking love it, so... But I hate Adobe. <laughs> Sony Vegas is pretty good, but also... It's not like Sony are magically a better company than Adobe, so, you know, whatever. Windows Movie Maker? Da, Vin da Vinci... <laughs> da Vinci Resolve <laughs> is actually pretty good. If you don't want to pay for your software, Da Vinci is, is pretty good. Uh, and I can recommend it. Sony Vegas is usually pretty good, but if you're already paying for it, you might as well go for Premiere Pro. Do, do you think it's plausible that I'm being followed by a cult of du duplicated J's? No, I think you're a... Uh, you need to lay off the Zaza, my man. Okay, you need to chill. Da Vinci? That being said, though, you can, um... You can... You can, uh... Oberdin. You can Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you know? You can... Pirates of the Caribbean, your uh, editing software. You don't need to, like, actually... Obtain it through standard normalized methods. Yeah, this way I'm not I'm not gonna be held responsible for this, you know. 
I don't want to be held responsible. Hey, you can just VPN to a different chat. Hey, legendary chat. <laughs> I think that was him. God damn, soldier. It's a fucking battlefield out there. My streamer told me to do illegal things. I did. Chat. Go do illegal stuff. Go, I don't know, take a shit on the sidewalk. In fact, actually, if you're American, just crossing the sidewalk is illegal, so go do that. Go walk across the street, man. God damn! Do you guys not get, like, a, a rush of ad adrenaline when you cross the street in America? <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Ooh, I can feel it in my toes. Dude, it was really annoying when I was in Barcelona and they did that. I got told off by a policeman for crossing the street on, like, a, 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 a one-way road that was empty. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> How does that make any sense? We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and... Yes. I'll take a look. Sure. Do, do, do. 50 free shotgun shells. That should do us, I think. I have a lot of stuff I can sell here. We don't really need jet anymore. I'm not really needing mentats. To be fair, we're not really healing either that much. I can sell off a lot of these. We're not really... We, uh, right away is useful. There always will be. Buff out I need as well. Don't really need the day tripper. Don't really need that. It's perfect. Got any more? Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are... I'll take a look. Sure. Just don't Oh, I didn't see a joke. Hey, at least they have cheap tacos in Barcelona. Oh my god, dude. Do you guys know about the $18 nacho story? Oh my fucking god. I was in Barcelona, right? And everyone told me that Barcelona was expensive, but I didn't really understand what people meant. Okay. And, uh... I went out for for drinks, and the cocktails were quite expensive. They were like 15, 15 euros each. I was like, fucking great, whatever. But they came in the giant pitches, so it was fine. And then I saw on the menu they had nachos. Right? I like I was like, oh, I was envisioning in my head, you know, oh, dude, a plate... A fucking platter of nachos for eight for like 18 euros right 17 euros it's gonna be like big silver plate <sighs> if somebody has the picture now's the time to post it it was honestly just like half a packet of doritos some half chopped tomatoes and uh some like pre-processed cheese and the like thinnest guac i've ever seen in my life so yeah it turns out um if you want nachos don't go to spin which makes sense but like you know I thought they would at least, like, not scam me and just give me, like, something decent, you know? I can go to the- I can go to the cinema and I get better nachos at the cinema. It's ridiculous. Hey, what up, Jason? Jay, the saint of crow. You got a picture of it? Oh, shit. Chad, look at this! Oh, it's loading Discord. What is- what are you doing? Dude, you could just link me the image. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thanks, originality. This is it, chat. Look. This is what I paid 17 euros for! 17 euros for this! Think about that! That's like $20! 20, 20! For like... Look! I'm not even kidding! You you see what I mean? You, I, I was explaining it, and you guys were probably thinking, Oh, maybe it wasn't that bad, right? Maybe like maybe it was like actually pretty good, and you're just misremembering. No, dude, look at that fucking shit. Look at that American-looking cheese and guac, you know? I, Actually, they have better guac and better cheese in America than that. The tomatoes are ripped- What the fuck are you doing? That's the salsa? A few half-chopped tomatoes? And then, like, you didn't even try with the fucking jalapenos? Oh my god, dude. 17 euros. I remember it came out and I was like, Oh, fuck this. I can't be asked. <laughs> I was like, I can't be fucked. I just ate it. I just sat there and ate it. I was like, fuck it, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna eat it. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> Kids portion size. Hey, dude, that's an extra large meal in Spain, okay? Oh yeah, Joseph. Oh, the burger patty story. Uh, that that only works if I've got pictures, and I don't have pictures of that. I don't think. Basically, um, a lot of my friends went to this uh, place called Weatherspoons in the UK, where it's like a chain of pubs, where they do pub food. It's it's actually really nice. A lot of people like it. Um. Oh, I was supposed to go to the Mechness lair. <laughs> Alright, we'll go do the castle first. Fuck it, I fucked up, dude. Anyways, um... 
my friends went to Weatherspoons, and I wasn't there because uh, you know they went, and uh, I was. I think I just moved to London, and they were in Scotland, so you know. But I wanted to be there in spirit. In spirit, so I ordered them a burger with seven patties. Um, you know, because you can order food to the table type things. Uh, and I ordered them a t- I, I, I just ordered a burger, and they, I saw that it could, like, you could put in as many patties as you want, so... You know, I put seven- seven patties on top of it. Thought, you know, maybe... They would just make it, they wouldn't give a shit. Turns out the staff walked to the table, and started complaining and arguing to my friends. Who didn't even order it! They, they started complaining and arguing to my friends, being like, Hey, dude, we're not gonna cook this, by the way. We- we can't... We're not gonna cook this. It's not gonna be cooked. We can't do this order. We can't process this order. We're gonna reject it. We can't do it. My friends got told off. Turns out they couldn't actually reject the order. So... They had to- they ended up cooking it. They- they ended up cooking the meal, and they came out with it, and then I got pictures of it. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> but they got told- my friends got told off, and then they got the meal anyways. But it was basically like a giant pizza tower- not pizza, uh, burger tower. What was the meal? It was just a burger! And by- because it took them so long, by the time they got it, they didn't want it. <laughs> uh... Pardon me, man. Parker Quinn. I just wanted to say, it's a good thing you came by my con. Why? What- what's good to be- what's- why? Yeah? Why is that? Yeah, Cause like it's that? something you yeah. need. Seriously, I can tell you need it. You know how I know? Just cause you're here. If a lady stays alive in the Commonwealth, enough to go walking through Southie, she got her affairs in order. You know your shit. Okay, it's that's true. true. I know my shit. I do know my yeah, shit. I know my shit. Oh, I like you. You got a mouth like a native and I bet a brain to match. Means you know a good thing when you see one. You remind me of this guy I knew from Dorchester. Ah, but I regress. What is he trying to sell me? Because you're obviously a busy, dangerous, and exceedingly intelligent person, I'm going to cut right to it. I'm going to make you a proposition right. so spectacular you can't possibly say no. You ready? Yeah, sure, go for it, dude. I'm ready. Every day you get to buy stuff. Right. Food, mm. ammo, beer, whatever. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you pay with caps. Yeah. Caps, bottle caps. What is this, right. fucking 1612? True. A bunch of losers blow up the world 200 years ago. True. You have to lug around piles of true. bottle caps? True, yeah, Are true. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, I know, right? So that's why I've been working with every single shop in the Commonwealth to get rid of caps. Get rid of them? That's actually a good idea. The only form of currency you'll ever need. The charge card. The charge Charge card? The charge card? That's what I said. Charge card. It's super simple. You give me 110 caps right now, and I give you this charge card. Right. Accepted at any store in the Commonwealth. Up to 100 caps. The 10 extra caps is my service fee. So what do you say? Want one? Why would I give him 110 caps to get 100 back? Sounds good. I'll take one. Awesome. I'll take your money, and you get the charge card. Great doing business with you. Tell your friends, Parker Quinn, same Connor every day. Retard. Yeah, stand against that wall, bitch. Yeah, stand against that fucking wall. <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. Enjoy your charge card now, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I thought. What an asshole, dude. My money? I didn't need it, dude. I don't care. You can keep the money. Fuck him. No, fuck him. I don't need the money back. That was that was a show of respect, okay? A lack of respect. You hear me? I ain't gonna sit there and take that. I'm gonna sit there and be his little bitch. You can keep the money. Get some, motherfucker. <sighs> Waste of money? Yeah. Try to actually use the card? I know. I'm gonna try and use the card. Oh shit, we're getting Sim Seekers now. Ooh. That's scary. There's not another one up here. Usually there's four. No? Is this across the river? It is, right? What the fuck? <laughs> the card's only usable in Far Harbor. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding? We already cleared out Far Harbor, dude. God damn it, man. All right, we have a level up. We're two levels away from getting a uh, max level for this. We could get the extra lock picking. 
Jabba can aim? Of course I can. I've always been good at games. You guys are always surprised by this. Rad resistance could be good. Yeah, let's get that. Basic protection. Yo, what up, John? I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Always missed your cute little emotes in chat. <laughs> Happy Luna New Year. Is it? Is it? Is it Luna New Year right now? Happy New Year, everyone. Isn't it like the year of the dragon? These nuts. Hey there. Ah, there you are. Finally. Try and use the charge card with Daisy. Okay, I'll do it. Here I am. Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. <sighs> Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Ooh, ooh, I'm insulted. I don't like what you're implying. Easy there, cowgirl. Joe Becker died years before you came along. I'm talking about the gang of clowns that let the Minutemen fall apart. Mm -hmm. I didn't respect any of them, so I took a vacation. Mm. Ronnie Pickering. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new... Is this the, the mission that's in the basement? It well, is, what's right? What's your story? <clears throat> what makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Uh, we're the good guys. We can scan through all this. We don't really care. We just need to do the, the castle infirmary stuff. I think it's just in here, right? Nope, that's the exit. Can I send you a clip I just got in Kenshi? No, because I'm worried that people are going to try and gnome me now after I said that I couldn't be gnomed. So I'm not... No, I'm good. You can't get me with that, dude. I refuse to be gnomed. No, I'm not listening. <laughs> Even if you weren't here for that part of the stream. Gnomed? Can I send it to a mod first? No, because I don't trust my mods. So... What's wrong with being gnomed? It's embarrassing. Yo, Ronnie, I've opened up this shit now. Come on. Why did you just add fridge with booba? <sighs> Why? Hey, this is the door to the armory. Ah, yep. Good. Looks like it might still <laughs> You know what? I actually like the emote. It's kind of cool. I actually kind of like it, chat. It's not that bad, actually. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. All right, I can do that. Let's go. I've already opened it, so whenever you want to get there. Do do. I don't see the emotes. Is odd for me. Uh, install seven TV. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Oh, you mean this tunnel? Wow, looky here. You've already cleared it. Good job. Right. Let's get down there. And See if there's still a way through. Yeah, I mean, okay. You first, Ronnie Shaw. <sighs> I fucking hate the Minutemen. I actually do. I hate, I hate the Minutemen. I hate their entire story. The castle is like the only good part of the Minutemen. True. Bang, bang, bang. Spin. <clears throat> the Minutemen are just so boring, yeah. They're kind of like the railroad, except the railroad have like a definitive purpose that I kind of don't dislike. Uh, pretty dark down here. We better watch our step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the mines. Don't you worry. Ow. It's fine. I I'm very good at this game. Hey, no worries, Mr. Semtex. Have a good one, man. Yeah, he's dead. I think if I stand, sit in this chair, we should be fine. Sarge is still down here? I would want to be the unlucky one to have run upon him down here in the dark. Uh oh. Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie, you're not supposed. Ronnie, I need you to open this terminal. <laughs> Please. Okay, one sec, Chad. <clears throat> I won't let me disable the door. 
Unlock? It won't let me unlock the door! It won't let me! What the fuck? I'm actually stuck! I can't! I can't disable this! Wait, wait. Okay, 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 we're back. We're so back, boys! Hi. Let me see if I can get that gate open. Go on, Ronnie! Open the gate for us! <laughs> TP, it's uh, fun. <laughs> Just wait a second! Wait, wait, she's gonna open the door, chat. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not it. That's the wrong one. This, maybe this time. Ronnie, just keep trying. You just keep trying. Keep looking. Wait, are these the original Minutemen? Holy shit. You know what? I bet this guy's back feels really fucking good right now, though. You know, something about this, I bet it would be really fucking good for your back. You know? Somebody want to do this to me? <laughs> oh, we, oh, we're through! Okay, nice. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Thank you, Lil Miss Cindy, for the seven months. And make fun of me, thanks to the 500 bits. Dr. Antagonist, thanks to the Prime. And Midnight Rain, thanks to the Prime, too. Cask of Amontillado reference. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. Unless that's like a Fallout free Fallout thing, then I feel like a dumbass, but I don't know what that is. Fat man? Is this Skyrim? Yes. That's Shakespeare? Who the fuck? Who the fuck cares about <laughs> fucking Shakespeare? Oh, if I get aided to not be on my team, we might actually be able to make it out of here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop off all this stuff. We don't need this. It's kind of useless at this point. I just want to get through the yeah. DLC. Told you I get us in oh, but mines. Let's see what kinds of goodies are left. Short story by Edgar Allan Poe in which a, a dude gets bricked up behind a wall. God, I wish I was bricked. Anyways. You know, one thing that's worth noting, Chet, and I, I think it's Excellent. worth mentioning now that we've, you know, had we had time to discuss it and people have become a bit accustomed to this chat room. Uh, we don't have, we don't have, um, I have to admit ban it, oh. uh -huh. requests, unban requests. We don't have that, okay? Hi. Looks like you've got we, do, we don't do those. So yes. if you get banned from this chat, you're probably gone. Unless, like, you, I don't know, find a way to message me and ask to get unbanned. Howdy, General. So, yeah, just don't get banned. There's a lot of people, like, I see people like, oh, dude, why am I banned, man? Oh, why why this happen? And then I check, the, I check their, like, chat logs, and they're being, like, little shits, you know? Being little shits in the chat. Yeah, of course you're gonna get fucking banned. What do you, what do you mean? It should just be easy not to get banned. It's very easy to not get banned. Perma or regular? Perma bans. I just want people to not be shitters, you know? Just be decent people. Enjoy being in the chat. Don't try and, like, die for, like, Got it. attention or anything like that. Because that shit's cringe, you know? Just saying, what is considered being annoying? Anything that's annoying. <clears throat> really. Uh, gosh yeah. darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close. But their range is impressive. All right. The smoke grenades oh, for fuck's sake. I hate that I have to do this. Like, does, does anyone even first, use these do a test fire. outside of the game? What we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming. All right, let me check the memes Keep channel. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Okay, what is this? You, you s Okay, I'm watching it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Dude, this this would happen in Kenji a lot actually. Why can't I just hear me saying true in the background? What the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, um, drop them, you can dupe them and get more of them. Did she give me some? She didn't. Uh, let me go pick them back up. I think I dropped them over here. Yeah, that happens to me a few times as well in my playthroughs. What is Kenshi? Uh, one of the best games ever made. True, true. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
No, I want to... I actually really want to play Sonic Heroes on stream. Remember Toothpick? Oh my god, dude, don't. Have you done a Millionaire Kenji? I have. That was what, what our Kenji video was. Our, our first Kenji video was on Big Burfer, remember? Big Burfer and the gang. And how they started like a gigantic weed empire. Do I consider myself to be one of the youths? No. I'm 26. <laughs> I don't think I'm a, I'm a youth anymore, you know? That being said, I don't miss it. You know, a lot of people like always cling on to like their age of like 20 to 25. I, I couldn't give a fuck. What the fuck, man? God damn. Yeah, the, the, my problem actually kind of annoys me is when people are like under the age of like 35 and they go on about how like they're basically dead. <laughs> like, dude, shut up, man. Shut up. You're just getting started. You're fine. I think we're really starting to make a difference. That looks good yeah, here. same coffee. You Literally same. There's so much more pain to come. Yeah, it's like, why bother starting complain? Why, why complain about like how much your body's deteriorated when your body's just gonna deteriorate more? You know? Sorry, I can't say the word deteriorate. De deteriorate. De 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 Whatever. We have way more quests to do. All right, let's just mark all these off and let's go do uh, me mechanist lair. Yeah, it's like, we're all decaying and falling apart and festering, you know, and turning into shit. It's happening, whatever, dude, that's kind of life, you know? Get over it, fucking hell. <laughs> it's like, you're, you're stressing yourself out, which is gonna make it worse. Just chill, you know, just relax, you man. I am 18 and approaching the graveyard. We're born to die. No, we're not born to die, Chad. Okay, that's not- that's kind of depressing, alright? I don't want any of that, like, depressing mentality in my chat. <laughs> don't you think start only decaying at 27? Yes. If you're over the age of 27, it's over. <clears throat> I don't make the rules. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna go to Bunker Hill and then make our way around. I'll go into Good Neighbor first, though, so we can go do the charge card. Would you guys rather be born now in the age of the internet and information, born in the age of exploration, when uh, we were chartering into new worlds and stuff and you could explore the planet and see what there is to discover? Or would you rather be born in the space age when we're all moving to different planets and stuff? I feel like we were born at the worst point, you know? We could have been born when new things were being discovered on our planet that were kind of interesting. Although, in retrospect, a little bit fucked up, you know. Ooh, you motherfucker! I just nearly killed myself. I had like two health left. Holy shit. Um, yeah. But it's like if you were born in the space age, I mean, they might have alien ussy, you know? Just saying, they might get lucky. <laughs> you guys might be. Doesn't it kind of suck? I can imagine at the age of 89, right? At the age of 89, we're sat there on our deathbeds, ready to fucking die. Like, ready to end it all. And then, like... Today's news. A new alien life form has been found, known as the succubus. It appears that the, this is what the succubus uh, myth originated from. And they're actually a lustful species of over 10 billion... Uh, you know, and this planet is filled with nothing but women succubuses. And it's perfect. And they're all coming to Earth, and they want to fuck. And it's like, well, you know, imagine that happens. You're sat there in your deathbed? Fuck. Shit. I'm just saying, dude. Not gonna happen. Let's do this. I wanna kill this guy because he's got a name. Oh my god, his heavy combat armor. What the fuck? Let's see if it's any good. I was oddly specific. I don't know, man. Just throwing out hype. Just, you know, I'm just questioning things, you know? <laughs> Isn't that what, like, all conspiracy theorists say? I'm just questioning things, man. There's nothing wrong with, con with questioning stuff, you know? God. I'm just asking questions. 
I'm just hearing both sides of the story, you know? On one side, you have, like, a highly trained doctor that's been in, you know, medical science their entire life. And then the, on the other side, you have an independent journalist from L.A. <laughs> uh, typical. <laughs> what if they all look like E.T., though? Okay, but you guys would take an E.T. over nothing, right? Like, come on. I know, I know what most of you guys are dealing with right now. Okay, it's, it's sad. Okay. So, I mean... Where is Good Neighbor from here? Just straighten off, okay. What does E.T.'s mouth do? Dude, what about that throat? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that guy's got a fucking long throat. I'm just... <laughs> ah, fuck. What's a succubus? Uh, somebody who wants to swallow a bus. Oh, God. Two really bad jokes back to back. He's got long fingers too. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Stop, dude. Okay. E.T. phone home. Yeah, that's right, E.T. Home. <laughs> did I disappear? Yeah, I did. He's also about waist height. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are grim. <laughs> Stop, dude. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just not reading chat anymore. All right, boys, we have some, uh, we have, oh, I have potatoes to eat. Thank God, I have food. All right, we're good. We're gonna go back to Good Neighbor and see what Daisy says about the charge card, and then we're gonna head up north to Bunker Hill. I opened Pandora's box. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm sorry, chat. Okay, so what would you guys, uh, you guys would rather be born in the space race then? That's what, I'm, that's the question I was trying to get at. You guys would rather be born, like, the space race or in the, uh, you know, the old, Arr, we're going on a ship, me boys. <clears throat> space race, 1960s. Okay, I mean space age race. You know, not the race to get into space, but the race to get, like, to a different fucking planet. But humans are being sent off to, like, millions of different Feel planets that. in the universe. Can't get enough looks. Mm -hmm. You know? Sure. Let's do all the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Who's my preferred alien, E.T. or Paul? E.T.'s a bit of a pussy, you know? Wait, wait. Hey, Daisy. Got some good deals. You won't believe. Sure. Do you accept this charge card? A charge card? Whoa. Ooh. I haven't seen one of these since before the war. Uh, sorry, honey. But this thing hasn't been good for about 200 odd years. What? If you're trading, I might be able to give you a couple of caps for it, but uh, it's barely worth the plastic it's printed on. You motherfucker. I've got a few. Remember, no returns, exchanges, or death threats. Did I get scammed? Where's my charge card? <laughs> Where is it? Whatever, dude. Whatever. <clears throat> <sighs> One whole step. Mm. Anyways. Um, do you know what I was reminiscing about? And uh, got really sad that I never finished. Was the uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough where we played it on Hardcore. <clears throat> no, not alien OC. <laughs> Different conversation, man. Um, <clears throat> watching watching Juve play it the other day. I actually really like Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Millionaire, maybe. But the problem is, I I feel like Kingdom Come is one of those games that nobody really cares about <laughs> anymore. Unfortunately, I feel like like in a live streaming setting it, it works, but like nobody really wants to watch like a video on it, you know. Henry the Murderous, yeah. I can't believe the charge card scam. God. Alright, we're gonna go back to Bunker Hill. Uh, and then from there we'll head around and we'll do uh, Automatron. And then we'll go back to the Minutemen and see what they've got. But what I'm gonna do while I'm at Bunker Hill is probably go for a piss. Henry the Ripper. I got every achievement in Kingdom Come. 
honestly, it seems like a very fun game to play like off stream as well. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just trying to think of like games that like I can visit and make videos on a lot of, right? Like I can make a few videos on Kenshi, Project Zomboid. I kind of want to set stuff like that up where people expect it and then I can deliver. Not now, Chief. Excuse me. Hey again. Step right up. A little bit of a Let's see what you got. See something you like. Right. So you have 446. Um, boo, doo, doo, doo. Do, 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 do. Quantum, sell a few of these. Sell a few of them. Okay, why not? <clears throat> right. So, if we want to make it to this DLC, because we can't swim, I have to go down, across, and around. Okay, perfect. But what I'm going to do actually while I'm gone is I'm going to go pee. So, I'm going to leave you guys standing here. Talk, looking at Ada. You guys want to talk to Ada? This looks like a safe place to recharge our batteries. All right. I'll be back in a second. I might be a long break because I think I need a shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a YouTube video on for you guys. You guys like it when I put these little stupid videos on? Let me see if I can find one. Premiere exports. Finished videos. Here. Yeah. You guys need, need to be up to date with Two Worlds 2, right? Nah, fuck that. Starfield? You guys like Starfield? <laughs> Is here's the Kenshi video. Enjoy. I'll be back in a second. Okay. All right, fine. Enjoy. I'll, I'll be back in a minute or two. About Big Bertha's gang. Just let me go. Good. I don't have all day, so give me the quick story. Okay. Well. We gotta get away with it. <laughs> Please. Any second. Oh! You gotta be shitting me. Oh. <gasps> I hate it when they one shot me in one in a limb that matters. It's so dumb. Uh, where the fuck did I go? What the? F what? Did I just glitch through the floor? <laughs> did I just glitch? Stop. Jesus Christ. Just start from the beginning. Well, it all started at Flats Lagoon in this small. If I was somehow able to get a hold of you and put you on a desert island somewhere random and gave you the means to play one game for the rest of your life. What game would you pick? Obviously, the first couple of games that come to mind are these big AAA masterpieces, you know, the type of games that get 97s or 98s on Metacritic, God of War, The Last of Us, those types of games. But to me, those games would get boring after the fifth or sixth playthrough. Like, I really want to ask this question, but you're playing this game for the rest of your life. And, you know, a lot of people will point the finger at me and be like, well, you play Fallout 4 all the time in Skyrim, but, um, <laughs> I'm just a little obsessed. That's all. But if you were to seriously ask me to play one game for the rest of my life, then it would easily be some form of sandbox manager style game. Chat! You know, games like Hey, get that shit off the screen. What the fuck is that? Chat, look! God damn it. ready to do another circuit. Only lost God. two men on the <sighs> It's the first one I got too. Whatever, dude. I murdered the guy? Well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. What are you guys gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> no, I didn't take a shit. I, I didn't Jobo has his family visiting. Honestly, I could be an alien from uh, outer space and you guys would never know about it, just saying, so I better watch your language. Oh, hello. Easy. Jabba, we were watching that video, uh, then you can go watch it on my channel. Kenshi videos on my channel. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Is that going upstairs? Oh, that's Edo. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's so OP. Alright, this is the cross. Okay. Yeah, no self-promo. Yeah, no self-promo in the chat. Yeah, we have an explosive combat shotgun. It is incredibly OP. 
I really hope this is enough to get across the entirety of the DLC. Alright, nice. Hey mods, ban that guy in chat for self-promoting. And take his entire family too while you're at it. I really hope we don't actually look out. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I really hope we don't run out of ammo. That'd be kind of awkward. <laughs> Who the fuck? Scrunchy! Why the fuck are you giving yourself a shout out? What the fuck? I know that sounds like a perma band to me, Chet. What'd you drop? That's actually pretty good. I actually might just put that on. Wait, 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 wait. We just got the troubleshoot disciplined left leg. Reduces damage from robots by 15% right before getting into the Automatron DLC. God, you could not time things any better. You could literally not time that any better. That's just a flat 15% reduction in damage. It's kind of big, actually. We actually might realistically finish this today. Depends how long Minutemen takes. It's no cryo spear. Dude, it's no cryo fucking pool cue. <laughs> hey, do you guys like getting pool cue weapons that work off of vats? I feel like most of the legendary weapons you get in this game are just like terrible melee weapons with like shitty legendary effects. <sighs> I said I would take over as a streamer, but my tummy hurts now. What, you nervous? Honestly, dude. Streaming? I remember streaming being like a nervous thing. God. Getting nervous when streaming was like the worst. Alright, we should be there now. Automatron time. There is a bed right outside it, so we can save. Do I like Man United? Um, no. I'm a Newcastle fan. Yeah. Doesn't, uh, I, I, the, like, one of the only things I know about T90, the uh, Age of Empires guy, is that he's, like, a huge Man United fan. Which is kind of weird to me, seeing non-British people being fans of British teams. But then I remembered, wait a second, that's actually kind of common. Because for some reason the Premier League is, like, somewhat big outside the UK. Right, we've run out of water, which is not a good sign. Uh, usually you usually want water for this, but we're not going to be taking many meds anyways, so we're fine. <clears throat> yeah, 70% boards, 20% leather pieces, 5% pipe weapons. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> you like Sunderland? Don't worry, man, That's I'm not that really dedicated strong. to Newcastle, so don't, you don't have to fight me or anything. <laughs> To be fair, US, soc US soccer kind of sucks, so I wouldn't be surprised. Isn't, like, the US uh, football soccer market one of the most booming sports right now? Especially, like, the uh, women's football? Isn't that, like, America? Isn't America's women's football team also, like, the best in the world, too? You guys should be proud of your little football teams. You guys are getting better at that shit. Especially in, like, the World Cup and stuff. USA is getting, uh, you're getting there. That that's kind of cool. Yeah, but women don't get paid. <clears throat> it's unfortunate, but um, with entertainment industries, it's all about how much money you bring in. Um, obviously, I think I feel like there should be like wages set aside at least. But yeah, that's how it goes. World Cup's coming to my city next. Yeah, isn't the next World Cup in America? It is right. I think it is. Alright, boys. Automatron time. The problem with Automatron is Who's we're gonna spend this? most of our time trying to get her to come to like where she needs to go. It's gonna be spending a lot of time just standing around doing nothing. But hey, I'm here for it. Fuck it. I'm here for it. Don't mind. According to the current FIFA rankings, Spain is number one and US is number two. Yes. The women Americans women's football team are really good, and you guys should be proud of them. Alright, open this shit up, boys. Is there a prediction? Will he get through this in one try? Alright, Chet. I have a very, very good combat shotgun with explosive damage, but I also don't have any defensive perks. Will I get through the entirety of this DLC without dying? Good luck, Chet. You can do your prediction. 
Incoming robot. No explosive shotgun? Fuck off. Can't tell me what to do. <clears throat> Open the gates! Let me in! Please! Oh shit. I'm trying to tr stay as safe as I can. I'm gonna play this like a little baby. I'm gonna play it as safe as I can, 100%. Over here. So you can trust in me, chat. I'm staking my life supply of cash bags on you. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> That's, you know what? Actually, you know what? Predicting it if you want to, chat. I don't care if you do. Doesn't bother me. I'm not even gonna think about the prediction. It's not even on my mind. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've done this before. I have killed myself in this exact DLC by accident before. It happens a lot, actually. And I don't have that much ammo. So hopefully this is a bit of a breeze. But that being said, I can pretty much like insta-kill almost everyone. <laughs> so I don't know. Is it though? Is it really the last of them? Or is it the last of us? Part two remaster coming out on PC next year. Huh? Jabba, I'm praying, I'm betting my house on this. Oh, chat, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is the reveal day of the YouTube's plushie. You guys heard about the YouTube's plushie? You saw it probably. It's behind me there, if you can see. That's his little fat ass right there. I can't turn him around until tomorrow, but tomorrow I can turn him around and show you guys him, so. That's pretty cool. Very excited to finally have you guys see what it looks like. He's very cool. I'm actually very excited because to me, it's I've had to sit with that product for like months now, waiting to show my chat, you know? I just want my boys to see it. Holy shit. Oh my god, what is happening? So you guys think I'm gonna die? <laughs> There's so much explo- Oh, there he is, I see him. Alright, we're good. Easy boys, easy life, you know? So many of them. Open the gates! Let me just pop a cricket right away. And then that should be fine. There's a legendary in there? Yeah, I know. Ooh! I'm low. I'm, I'm, I kind of fucked up a little bit. Give me a second. I fucked up, boys. Oh my god, I nearly died again! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, I thought I died there because I went in third person. Um, I'm still able to run, that's fine. Uh, I need food though, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think I have any food on me, unless it's, I have two tittos. I do. Insta mash, useful. Two crams, perfect. We might still be alive in this one, boys. We might still be good. I don't think we're dead yet. You guys you can hold off your channel points, you know? I'm fine. I know there's an area around here where you can get like insta-killed if you shoot one of the enemies. I need to be careful. <laughs> Other than that, we think we're, we're gonna be all right. We might actually survive this, boys. Jabbo non-Bethesda game when? I've played a lot of non-Bethesda games. I spent an entire like two weeks playing Project Zomboid recently, which is fair. So, you left legendaries? Oh, yeah, 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 I left legendaries. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 Gamma rounds, 50 caliber, 308, fusion cells, plasma, fusion cells. I don't know if we're getting much lead. Ooh, duelist. Eh, kind of shit, to be honest with you, but whatever. Not really worth it. 
What mods am I using? Uh, I don't think we have that many mods installed. In fact, I don't think we have much installed, actually. Yo, Bizarro Frank! Thank you for gifting a sub to, sub to Model Combat 6 Noodle? I think. You just beat Devil May Cry 5 on Son of Sparta mode. I have no idea what that means, but congratulations. I'm assuming that's a good thing. I'm proud of you. Scan this. What's my favorite game? Uh, Outer Wilds would be my favorite game. I think Fable 2 would be my favorite game if it wasn't, um, you know, stuck at 30 FPS with movement, motion blur, movement, all, all that type of random shit, you know? It's got, like, motion blur. It's got, like, bloom. It looks like shit if you play it now. Whereas, um, I'd say it's probably Outer Wilds. Yeah, out of Wilds now. Brink is my favorite game? That's fake news. That is the fakest news I've ever heard in my life. What the fuck? Yo, Mythical Meat Man! Thanks for gifting a sub as well. <clears throat> to, uh, to little old Yep Dog. I appreciate that. Ball caps? Doo, doo, doo. I need to be careful. I think around here, actually. Yeah. We got the, the rise of the dead robots now. Oh god, the junkyard. I think I can just run through this. I don't want to waste as much, like, all my ammo. I need, like, about 60 uh, shells. Oh, but I can drink this water, though. I need to drink this. My my favorite game is Food Up Big Dick Dine and Dash. It's funny because I actually know that game exists because I bought it for someone. <laughs> one of my friends... I, I asked one of my friends what they wanted for their birthday, and they... They said they wanted food at Dick, Dine, and Dash, so I bought them it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a good friend, you know. I don't, I don't judge you for what you play. You can play whatever you want, man. I'll buy you. I don't care. That's what good friends do, you know. Is that was it? Was it for Jasmine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for a friend, dude. Can I be on YouTube? Yeah, sure. You guys can wave to the YouTube chat now, and if Benpai catches it, he'll put it in the main video. Right, boys? Well, oh, that's a... Please don't do that. Please, 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 please. I can't... What the fuck is that?! What is happening?! Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. Hi, YouTube! Uh, by the way, chat, I just wanted to let you know that, um, uh... YouTube's dead. Here. We, uh, we killed YouTube. So you're saying hi to no one. They're all gone. I'm out of a job? Yes. I no longer have a job. Use this. Is there a bed I can sleep in, please? I should be able to sleep in this, you know? What's stopping me? Your YouTube channel was shit anyways. <clears throat> what do you guys think is going to happen when YouTube and Twitch is dead and everyone's either on TikTok or Kick? <laughs> do, you think, do you think the world will be like a more depressing place? It's like, oh, what do you want? A TikTok daughter or a Kick son? Oh, fuck. I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, God. You watch my VODs still? Thank you. My VODs are, uh... I don't know that if I'd say they're worth watching, but apparently some people think they're worth watching, so. X live streams. Yes. I forgot about X live streams and the fact that X has now got YouTube videos on them. Wow, dude. X, X is going to be the competitor to YouTube. <laughs> I think Elon Musk genuinely thinks he's way smarter and has a better understanding of, like, hu like social media than he does. Because that guy has no clue what he's doing. The day YouTuber Twitch uh, dies off for good, we'll already be worshipping our overlord. I think Twitch is definitely going to die at some point. I don't, I, don't, I don't see Twitch lasting another five years. Then again, I said the same thing five years ago, so uh, you'd be surprised. 
I just think their business plan is absolutely dog shit, and it's gonna be a matter of time before Amazon either disbands it, lowers down production costs for it, or just sells it off. Um, I think most likely if they sell it off, they're gonna sell it off in parts, so it's not one big giant product, so that way they don't have any competition, so it doesn't live on. Which means Twitch is probably gonna get dismantled and sold off to multiple different companies, like infrastructure-wise, uh, which is great. <clears throat> and the reality of that situation is if Kick's still around, well, they're the, they're the ones... Sorry, they're the ones that are going to be buying the uh, sauce code and shit, so. COVID saved Twitch? I disagree. I think COVID ruined Twitch. Genuinely. I, 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 this, I don't want to sound gatekeepy, but it's not even a gatekeepy sense. I like that Twitch is used by a lot more people. I just think Twitch has became a bit of a shit website since, uh, since, um, COVID. Yo, Tuds! Thanks for the raid, by the way. Because to me, it's like, the social element of Twitch is gone. Like, not only did Twitch become a lot, a lot more mainstream, which kind of, you know, also kind of ruined things, but on, on top of that, you had an influx of people coming to Twitch, which meant that the communal aspect of Twitch just disappeared overnight because Twitch's, like, entire... Like, the amount of people streaming on Twitch and the amount of people watching Twitch just doubled, and, like, any sense of community was gone. Then again, any sense of community was kind of going before that anyways. Twitch was long gone at that point, but... Yeah, we don't like new chatters here, by the way. Um, well, the main reason why Kick was launched was because uh, streamers wanted to gamble on, on stream, and Twitch banned gambling, right? So Stake had a lot of sponsors, like 100 million, you know, that's how much, the, like, the the, uh, the partnerships were with, like, big streamers were, like, 100 million partnerships, dollars. Uh, some of the big streamers had, like, 130, 50 million, 20 million, 10 million contracts. And then Twitch just came out and started banning gambling, because why would they want gambling on their website? So that's when Stake released Kick. Because it was the answer to Twitch banning gambling. Originally. Uh, which. It's kind of cringe. Why would you want to. Why? Why? Like, why? I feel like the gambling era of Twitch was so weird. Because at first it was like, okay, I get it. You know, gambling era of Twitch. Woohoo, we're having fun. Like, it's kind of like, whatever, right? But then it kind of became a thing where I was like, okay, now, now why the fuck are people watching this? You know? What's, fun, what's something fun about- Okay, but the thing is, watching someone gamble isn't just as simple as watching someone gamble, right? If you watch someone gamble for the first time, it's gonna be a little bit fascinating watching someone burn, like, Over thousands here. of dollars. Like, it's the same as if you watch someone open a b bunch of CS skins. It is sometimes fun to watch people burn a shit ton of money. But you watch that with the mindset of, oh, they're burning money. If you start watching that with the mindset of, oh, that this is how you make money, then you're fucked. Because it's not how you make money. At all. It, in fact, it's the opposite of making money. <laughs> okay. Oh, Here we go, boys. Automatron DLC finale. Our favorite, the Mechanist. Yes. Yes. We should talk. Show me what you got. Shut up already and yes. show me what you got. The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Now you'll face the full might of the mechanist! What? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're gonna really be struggling with this fight a bit. I don't, I don't know. I think we're gonna be fine, Chet. Don't worry about it. You got any shotgun shells in here? Oh my god, no silver shroud costume? Sorry. My bad, man. Having Ada here is like kind of fucking me over. <laughs> Ada, can you go away, please? I don't need you here. Take them down. Bring in the <laughs> My biggest enemy is myself. Honestly, we're not we're not gonna struggle with this boss fight at all. Like. I honestly don't even know what to do. My biggest threat is accidentally shooting like a a railing or something, yeah. And running out of ammo is also a big threat too. Because I don't have a lot of ammo. Love that noise. Whatever. You can now dismiss Edo? Impressive. But I 
heads up. Look alive. Sorry, Ed, amid, like, I, I know we're, like, having a conversation. Like, we're in the middle of a fight, but can you, like, go back to tapping the boathouse? This entire facility is at my command. For every robot you destroy, <laughs> ten more will come. Struggle on Ten the more? Box. There is nothing you can do to stop. No. Warning. Power generation capacity exceeds. They're just falling down. Never-ending robot Start. spawner. Oh shit! Okay, my bad. I'm just looking around for spawns. Oh my god! Swarm bot! Alright, let's be careful here. Fuck you! Fuck you! Infinite XP farm. Yeah, this should be actually. Unless the uh, you know the whole ammo. Oh, this boss fight. Dual bot dead. <laughs> that, that dual bot was like supposed to be one of the hardest things that you fight. <laughs> Fuck me, this is so anticlimactic when I can just one shot everything, man. Thing is, I'm actually having so much fun using this weapon. No. What was my first console? Sega Mega Drive. Everything. Uh oh. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck do you want? Back off. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! My health! Shit, I'm gonna have to hide! Yeah, the Sega Mega Drive is the Sega Genesis for Eight. Americans, in case you guys were confused. Hello? Seven. Yeah. That's where you were! I was getting attacked by someone from above and I couldn't Eight. see him! He was on that beam! Five. Come on! Four. This is just looking Three. out for enemies. Two. Two. See, the guy's stuck up there. Do you see that? <laughs> uh, oh, we have to still do the fight. Oh, shit. Dude, the fight. <gasps> Wait, the fight. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait, no. Do, do some different combat music. Oh, we might actually lose this fight, chat. I forgot how strong the mechanist is. There's a very good chance we might lose this fight. Should I just convince them to stop? You think? Just convince them to stop? I don't think I can fight them. The mechanism is like really strong. Kill him? Quit hiding. Come face me, you coward. Yeah, that's right. I watched you survive what should have been a guaranteed attempt to stop you. Besides, do you truly think I'd leave the safety of my command center? Fight me. Bots take orders. You're the only one with the motivation to stop me. Now show me what you've got and fight me. Fine. I'll show you what I'm truly capable of. Alright, well, this person's dead. It's over, dude. Goodbye. Everyone say F in the chat for Mechanist. Alright, well, that was a really hard boss fight, honestly. I'm kind of surprised we survived that. Very close to dying. Really difficult fight. I'm glad it's over, though, because we can survive now. Wait, the Mechanist is a lady? I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, dude, I don't know what some of these weirdos in chat, man. <laughs> uh, security door open. Listen, Jabo, no more none of that shit, okay? But being weird. You and the other guy that got banned earlier. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's just a picture of the Magnus. I thought it was like a magazine. You're addicted to playing Dishonored again? You're welcome, man. I mean, that's a good thing. It's nothing but good. Getting people to play those games again is kind of why I do this. One of the reasons why. The amount of people that um told me they bought Kenshi after the Kenshi video was quite nice. Are you a weirdo? No, nobody in this chat's a weirdo. Everyone in my chat's beautiful. Hey, Ada. 
Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. Also, two worlds too. A lot of people bought two worlds. The mechanist is dead. A just end. Was he peppy? All right, well, I'm just gonna ban him then. Reversing any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and I have too much hope in my chat. And I have um, to for it. As a result, I have decided to. I just want people to not be weird anymore. I'm fucking sick of it. It's like not even fun. It's just like. When I start seeing people typing the same weird shit in chat over and over again, I'm just sat here waiting for my mods to time them out. Ignoring them as they type the same thing in chat over and over again until I reply, despite the fact that I can see them typing the same thing in chat over and over again, intentionally ignoring them so that they won't constantly type the same thing in chat again. Hey, thanks, Gary! Uh, the tile videos took a lot of work, to be fair. This is going to be part two to the cat video, which I'm very excited to get out. Do, 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 do. Is calling you a stomach bug considered weird? Uh, as a first time message, it's very fucking ab abnormal. <laughs> but uh, also at this point, I don't really care. Just not a good first impression, you know? People come in the chat and the first thing they type is some weird shit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Dis Dishonored 2 is- I, I always prefer Dishonored 2. I have no idea why. I, can pick this. I can just walk through this, can't I? Yeah. Like the Oberdin edit in the Zomboid video? Thanks, man. I was- I'm glad that people caught it, obviously. It was a bit, like, on the nose. I, I felt like most people were gonna catch it. Oh, look! Hey, Shadowfire! What a great way to start off, uh, you know, your- your future here in my Twitch chat. With, with a nice message as your first message. You know what? I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take some attentive awareness to you. Make sure that I give you a little bit more care and love than the rest of the chat, because fuck them. You were nice. Yeah, there you go. Good job, believers. Congratulations on winning. Fable again? Dude, Fable 2 is a game worth exploring. Any more plans with Juve? Yes, we're just both very busy right now. My sister says you're hot. I... And... <laughs> Good shit. Alright. Let's have a look. Map. We're here. Destroy the rogue robot. Oh, shit. No, I don't want to do that. We're done with Vodmatron now, right? We're done with Vodmatron. Morrowind, Morrowind Vanilla are modded for a first playthrough. Um... Look up basic, just what I always do with old games like that, and which, uh, you, you know, you should do from now on, is just look up vanilla, uh, I think it's like restoration or enhancement mods. Uh, I think Morrowind has open Morrowind, which is a necessity, because it just, like, makes the game a lot easier to play. But outside of that, you don't really need any mods. Wait, we have to go back to, uh, old guns, talk to Preston Garvey, I think, yeah. Jabbo is the only content creator that doesn't secretly do OnlyFans. Wait, you don't know about the OnlyFans? Fair enough. Yeah, I secretly don't have an OnlyFans. Sure. You don't like the Minutemen? Me neither, man! Me neither, but I'm stuck here, man. Bold of you to assume I'm not selling my feet on the internet, but okay. <laughs> Have I played da Dragon Daggerfall? I haven't, and I promised my chat that I would play Daggerfall at some point, like two years ago. It's been two years now, and I haven't fucking felt came through the promise. But then again, I did sell tell him I'd play it at some point, so technically not lying, you know. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that chat. Oop, shit, missed it. Never mind. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna do a little bit of. I wanna. I wanna do a litmus test for chat. One in the chat if you like the Minutemen. Two in the chat if you don't like the Minutemen. Two. A lot of twos. Okay, a lot more twos and ones. All right, fair enough. That's fair. I don't like the Minutemen myself. I think they're okay. They're like the the, the they're like a good yes man alternative. You know, I don't hate them. 
I, I think I hate the Railroad more than I hate the, the Minutemen, you know? Because the Minutemen are trying and they've got like a good heart. Whereas the Railroad is just fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next one. Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 4. Not in any other game, just in Fallout 4. One in the chat if you enjoy the Brotherhood of Steel. Two in the chat if you don't. I kind of like the, the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 4, but I think they're a bit reduced. They're definitely better than they are in New Vegas. I hate them in New Vegas. They're a bit fucking stupid. I personally don't think they should be, like, you know, boiled down Nazis. Because <laughs> Brotherhood of Steel is a lot more interesting than that, but whatever. All right, a lot of people kind of, like, on the fence of... I feel like it's one or two. Could be either way. All right, what about this one, then? Uh, Institute, one or two. One if you like them, two if you don't. I like the Institute, personally. I, I think the Institute are, like, fucking cool. One of the coolest things that they added to Fallout 4. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like that's the one thing they got right was the Institute in this game. And, like, the overall, the over overall presence, the, like, you know, kind of, like, red scare feel to it. I like it. All right, last one. Railroad. Go ahead, chat. One or two. The Institute is at least interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and then we all hate the Railroad. Yeah, okay. So I, I have, like, a pretty normal opinion of, like, the factions then, right? My ranking would be Railroad in last, Minutemen in third, Brotherhood of Steel in second, and then uh, Institute in first. Which I think a lot of people probably agree with. Let's have a look. We're running around. Way too many ones. Alright, um... Let's try this out then. Uh, what Fallout is your favorite Fallout, Chet? One, two, three, New Vegas, or four? Did you miss me, Jabbo? Well, seeing as you've asked now like five times, uh, no. <laughs> New Vegas? I feel like New Vegas is just like, it's even New Vegas or four, right? I gotta respect people that think Fallout 3 is the best because it's a good game. You gonna ask again? Okay, keep asking. The answer's gonna be the same. Um, yeah, I, I like New Vegas. I, I I feel like New Vegas is the one that makes the most sense. It's it's kind of like respectful to say that New Vegas is good, you know. Whereas if you like, oh, I like Fallout 4, it's a bit like. Ugh. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Uh, that's the problem with Fallout 4 is they removed a lot of elements from the game. They kind of like neutered it, I guess you could say. But at the same time, they've made a game that a lot more people can play. So I kind of have to like it for that reason, you know? Like, I don't hate Fallout 4 because the, the parts of the game that they've like focused on are good. To a degree. There are some parts that are bad, but most of it's good. There's just not a good story attached to it and not that many interesting people. But the game itself is pretty decent. It's like baby's first RPG, right? Why no karma in Fallout 4? Because karma was the stupidest thing that they fucking added. <laughs> why why have karma in a post-apocalyptic game? I'm not gonna give a shit about my karma. To stand up straight. <sighs> you have the maximum amount of dwellers in your Fallout shelter. Congratulations, sir. May you be providing those Fallout settlers with the best of the best. Why? I did a core exercise yesterday, and if you've ever done a core exercise for the first time in like months, it can be so hard to like. <laughs> My body just wants to like curve inwards. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't have much to sell here. Uh, Be ready to depart. Well, we'll do a, maybe a vendor run, come back, see if the water's refreshed, do another vendor run. Do some stretches. I already did this morning. It's because I'm sitting down now. What's happening is I'm sitting I'm sitting down, so my body's, like, decompressing. So when I, like, stretch it back out again, it's, like, soft. <laughs> it's usually how it works. What else is left for now? We have Minutemen to do. I just have to go talk to Preston Garvey and do the Minutemen questline. We've done all the DLCs, they're all finished now. We just got the Minutemen questline to do. 
However, the Minutemen quest line also takes the longest, so fuck me. What language did I do at school? Uh, French, but I don't I don't remember any of it. Hey, my favorite shopper. I know Le Bibliothèque is library. I'll take a look. Take your time. My fiance calls me a Minuteman. Listen, man, we don't need to know what you and your fiance get up to in the bed. All right. If you want to role play as Preston Gavi and a new settlement, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Do I like Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds? That was a better care of your I, um... <clears throat> Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? I, d I don't know you up for a fee. what you're talking about, Galactic Battlegrounds. Unless you're talking about the, uh, Battlefront 2 game mode. I like Battlefront. Actually, Whether it's the new ones or the old ones. Alright. I think they're pretty good. Sell all this random junk off. These 11 repair kits. Purified water. Probably sell like 600 of these. Perfect. <laughs> let's do a sleep in the bed and then let's go grab some more water. What, what consoles did I have when I was a kid? Do you guys want me to pull out the paint and show you what consoles I had as a kid? That seems like... What the fuck is it zooming in on? His nipple? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? When's the next YouTube upload? Uh, 16th should be. Alright, let me pull up paint. Let me put some, um... Uh, Bugs Life. There we go. Alright, chat. Let me show you what consoles I went through. As a kid. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, can I do this, like, with, like, a realistic timeline? I mean, okay. Let's just have me, zero, right? This is me at the edge of zero, and this is me at the edge of... 26, which is where I am now, right? This works, okay? This is how old I am, by the way. Um, I don't really remember much about my early childhood, but I remember at the age of 10... That's not proportionally correct. At the age of 10, I got a GameCube. So I do remember this. I got a GameCube at 10, but before that, I had an N64 and a Sega Mega Drive. I remember always having the Sega Mega Drive, uh... But it's also very important to note that at 14, something very, very, very traumatic happened in my life. Uh, we'll get to that in, in a second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code these. So let's just do GameCube, right? You know, I got the GameCube at 10. So this is the GameCube, right? Color code these motherfuckers. Uh, I had a Sega Genesis. I guess this is the best way to put it. Sega Genesis. <laughs> it looks like shit. Should I just get like pictures of them? <laughs> Sega Genesis. Let's just do this. I can just get pictures of them, man. <laughs> Alright, I had a Sega Genesis. And then the GameCube. No, don't save it. I just need a copy of it. Alright, so the GameCube. Uh, I had an N64. This is like early childhood. <laughs> Graphic designer is my passion. <laughs> Um, oh no, shit, that N64 is fucking huge! Oh my god! Jesus! Alright, one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, so... I'm gonna color code these again. <laughs> Fuck me! Alright, so this is the GameCube color. Let's make the, the N64 red, because it's fucking sick. And let's make the Sega blue. Alright, so I, for, as far as I remember, I had a Sega Mega Drive since I was zero, right? I don't, I don't remember not having a Sega Mega Drive. I always had one. I always had, like, you know, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, the old, like, classic Disney 2D games, like the the Mickey Mouse one and the DuckTales game. Uh, I didn't like Echo the Dolphin. Everyone else really liked that shit. I loved the Sonic games. And I, I remember I had Theme Park on the uh, Sega Mega Drive. That was my one of my favorite fucking games ever. Uh, but I got the N64 around, like, 8, I would say. About 8 years old. Um, but one important thing to note, at the age of... About 13? Let's say 13. I got an Xbox 360, right? Now, I bought that Xbox 360 with my own money. So, you know, I deserved that. And I loved my Xbox. It wasn't one of them ones. It was a white one. It was a classic arcade Xbox 360. Of course it was. Little brog bitch. Hell yeah. Xbox 360 era, boys. In my opinion, I always see the Xbox 360 era as like the best period of gaming. Um... 
But I had this from 13 to about like 18, I'd say. Uh, let's just put the 18 here, because not really much happens after this point. Um, but you're probably wondering what happened here at 14. This is what we call the uh, the life-changing event in my life, you know, my, my personality development process, uh, <laughs> the trauma. My parents, without my permission, sold all three of my consoles. I had like 16 N64 games, I had 70 Sega Mega Drive games, I was keeping them until I was an adult. I came home from school, my parents had given them away. With everything on- with everything. The, I kept them in great condition too. Turns out, because I bought myself an Xbox 360 with my own fucking money, that I couldn't have any other consoles. So yeah, that- that happened! I was fucking raging, dude! I was angry as fuck! Anyways, at the age of 18, I did the stupid thing, which is even more dumb than what I just did at 14 when I lost everything, was, uh, I bought an Xbox One. <laughs> I bought an Xbox One, and let me just tell you, life has never been the same since. What a fucking regret. I've never re regretted anything more in my life, dude. But then I bought a Switch, and my girlfriend has a PS5, so everything's good now. But yeah, this is my childhood. It was Sega Mega Drive, uh, Sega Genesis, N64, GameCube, and then Xbox 360. Does that visually show it off to you guys? Easy come, easy go. Pog champ. You got it, boys. But yeah, that does be my life. What time is it? 10? All right, let's go reset our water selling. When was PC gaming? Around about the age of 19, I got a PC. I remember I, I got my like first major student loan. I bought a PC. Got like incredibly addicted to League of Legends. I got like super addicted to League of Legends because before that I'd never really played any online games and you know a game like League of Legends is quite easy to pick up and also you can start communicating with people in the game I kind of wanted friends <laughs> you know so I got a League of Legends became a jinx man fucking hated it stopped playing League of Legends once I got to plat and then uh started actually playing single player games again I guess you can see League of Legends is like my depressed error <laughs> you know that was when I was like, not good. Not not good error. Uh, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people in League of Legends are... League is easy? I, I Yes. I tried playing Dota 2. Dota 2 is way harder to learn in League of Legends. With League of Legends, everything is snappy, simple to read, easy to understand. With Dota 2, it feels a bit more floaty. Also, like, you have to have better control of your camera to understand what's going on in the game. It's more complex, and the characters are harder to understand. Can I speak Spanish? Muy bien. No. <sighs> Sup, Chronicle Cider? I'm guessing that's how you say your name. My first console was a PS5. Cringe. All you mean to have an original Nintendo, then Super Nintendo, then Sega Genesis, N64, PS1, 2, 3, Xbox Original, Xbox 360, Xbox One. I, I mean, I, I do remember having an... Uh, Nintendo console as well as a kid like one of the NES consoles, but I don't remember playing on it So I don't consider it my console, you know So we did have like and we did have a ps2 as well, but I never played on the ps2 either So I, I've never played any the only PlayStation game. I played was like Spyro Seems so, to be well. I've, I've kind of maybe thought about the idea of just doing a Ratchet and Clank stream at one point or like a Jack and Daxter stream Because I've never played them could be fun. You know? The PS2 was so good, yeah. But, I, I, you know, you gotta remember, I was playing GameCube games when everyone was playing on, like, Xbox 360 games. And when everyone was on a PS2, I was on a Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> what settlement am I using? Uh, Covenant. It's just... I'm using Taffington Boathouse and then going over to Covenant, which is just a bit My west. Sup, Lunchbox. Need anything? Right. Let me see what you got. That's I did. We did play Spyro on stream at one point. You guys don't remember that? The Spyro streams? They were really fun. Way back in the day. You need any doctoring? Just you remember the Goblin know. Commander for the GameCube? There are so Actually, many Sega uh, and GameCube and N64 games that I don't remember. Okay, I need help with this one. I remember there being like an uh, like a top-down, kind of like 
It, it almost looked like GTA, but it was more like sci-fi, like the old GTAs, you know, like top-down GTA. It was a top-down GTA game, but it wasn't GTA, I don't think. And it was modern, like sci-fi. And you, all I remember was you get in and out of cars. But I remember, I have, I have like a very distinct visual memory in my head of what the game looks like. But I can't, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Hotline, no, 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 for the Sega Mega Drive. Avengers? No, no, not Avengers. Syndicate? Syndicate? No, look, look, look. It was top down. Wait. Why does this ring a bell? <laughs> no, it was top down. Draw it? Yeah, this is 2.5D. Uh, it was like classic GTA top down. I don't know. Retro City Rampage. Ooh. Oh, wait. What is this, man? <laughs> the thing is, if we if we eventually find this, I'll be so No, it wasn't this. It wasn't this. It wasn't this. Shadow run? Are you guys on crack? Sorry. Oh wait, you can't see the screen. <laughs> We got- I was like, it's, this isn't top-down. Oh, this kind of is. It, no, it was a, It was way simpler graphics than this. Way simpler. Pepsi Man. Oh my god, it's not gonna be Pepsi Man, is it? It's not gonna be fucking Pepsi Man. Oh, it's just a song. <laughs> Pepsi Man! It wasn't Metal Gear Solid. It wasn't Pac-Man. If you find it, I need to know. I've been looking for this game for over a decade. Whatever, dude. I'll never find it. There was there was a Desert Storm uh, helicopter game that I used to love on the Sega Mega hey, Drive too. My favorite shot. And like, I remember just loving What's going around stuff? shooting Death people around. as a kid. Fucked up, man. Uh, whatever. Granada. Don't you're gonna you're gonna have me like searching for it. I'm never gonna find it. I know I'm never gonna find it. It might not have. It might not have been for the Sega Mega Drive. It might be for like. Earlier than that, it could be an NES game, and I might be just misremembering. I think it was called Desert Strike. Yeah, Desert Strike was the other one. Dude, this game, yes, this fucking game, this game fucks. This game, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I remember playing that Anything game a lot. Doctoring? Let me know. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. You watch previous streams? What have you missed? A lot. I've done all the DLCs. Hey, Doc. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. I need some supplies, Doctor. The thing is, though, it took me ages to find another game. I used to play this other game where you, um... You get into a mech at one point, and you become, like, a mech with, like, ball arms. And you do, like, like big swing attacks. And I was, I remember telling that to my chat and everyone was like, dude, what the fuck are you on about? And then one person in my chat just pulled out the game. And like, there it was, Penny, you know? My favorite Holy shopper. shit. Need any What's in stock? It's crazy. Deal um. So you. Was it Vector Man? It was some, it was like some quite popular game actually. Not a Seems to be glowing well. I don't thank my lucky stars that I live here. Oh my god, my stoic. I actually have never played a Mega Man game. Just letting you guys know now, ahead of time. Before you uh, start to have any respect for me. Um, I've never played a Mega Man game. Have you played the game Pand Pandemonium? If I sit here and YouTube search for like every game that you guys put in chat, I'll be here all day. Okay, I can't do that. But yeah, no, th there's nothing better than rediscovering something from when you were a kid. 
Uh, one of my favorite TV shows as a child was this this show called Tiny Tots TV. Oh, like I think it was just Tots TV. Have you guys ever seen Tots TV? I think it's a British show. I don't think they've got it in America. A lot of like, a, a lot of early kids programming came from the UK, and it was very uh, craft derived. Like you would only do work in that field if you were a specialist, and you would work on like, you know. You'd have people working on puppets, you'd have people working on animating the puppet puppet puppets, you know, set design, all that stuff. And now it's just like so We don't really care what Where we make. We just the fact that it sells. Ah, uh, sucks ass. I I I actually have a seething hatred. I'm not even kidding. For um for Cocomelon. I, I just can't stand it, dude. I feel like, as a parent, I'd rather have my kids watch old TV shows, rather than Cockermelon, you know? It feels very, like, cringe. <laughs> I don't know, man. But every time I see it, I just, like, I don't know, it just makes me not want to exist. And I see so many parents now use Cockermelon, too, and it kind of just like, oh, dude, please, please, just, like, put Tom and Jerry on, you know? Like, come on. <laughs> put Skibbity Toilet on, at least let them watch something entertaining. Doctoring? Just let me know. But the thing is, like, are you a parent? No. No, I'm not, to be fair. No, so I guess I don't have a child, so I don't know what it's like to raise a child. I guess you're right, then. I guess, uh, you know, that, that you know, fair enough. Even though I don't consider there to be much of a difference between putting anything else on other than Cocomelon. But, you know. Uh, yeah, make your kids watch, like, old German TV shows where, like, you know, like, the, the old, like, German fairy tales. Where, like, the grandmother gets her legs ripped off and, like, peeled. What the fuck? Shh. You know what I'm talking about? Like, those old German fairy tales? <laughs> uh, you just put, your, put this stream on and make your kids watch this, dude. This is like Cocomelon, but better. One raider for the level up, please. As a parent, Cocomelon is unavoidable. We use YouTube Kids, and no matter what you put on, auto plays Cocomelon in this next video. Yes, I agree. That's why you don't. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just like selectively choose, like give my kids a bunch of like DVDs or some shit. You know, teach them how to put DVDs Hello, in. Stranger. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up. Actually, but uh, then again, at I the same time, parenting is fucking fair. hard. So just do whatever makes your life easier. You know. So. Hello, Penny. My Penny, one-year-old would my eat the DVD. <laughs> Let me see what you got. <laughs> Take your time, sweetie. Do you think if you showed like a TikTok kid a VHS <laughs> cassette, would they like just their brain would just melt on the spot? What the fuck is this, dude? Just turn into pulp. Sleep again. How many caps do I need? I don't know how much I'm gonna need to finish off the. Uh, Entirety of the Minutemen quest line, but I want as much as I can so I can start mo moving on. Do I plan on having kids? No. Not not currently. My current mindset is not to have kids. Like, my current minds- my mindset on kids could change, but... Having been around so many children in my childhood and, you know, also taking part in raising them and looking after the house and stuff, as you have to do in a big family like that, I don't want to do anything to do with family Actually, for a long time. I need some supplies for the I, I want to be selfish. You know, I want to look after myself and put myself first, so I'm doing that. Because I can. <sighs> I don't know. I think as a, as, a, as a teenager and young adult, a part of me wanted to have kids for, like, reasons that were a bit, like, kind of selfish, I guess? Like, I wanted to have, like, children so I could prove that I, w I could be a good parent. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I feel like, like that just comes from my childhood. And then I kind of just like got over it. I was like, ah, I don't care actually. I need some supplies, Whatever. Doctor. Let's see what I can spare. Right. Sell off a bunch of this. We don't need that. Perfect. Is that about me, Sir Toby Bryant? Was that common about me? Need anything? I'll take a look. You won't find better quality. Uh, -huh. uh sell off a bunch of more stuff. Pulse grenades, fragmentation grenades, and mines. Don't need these at all either. Uh, I think we're good. I think we might be good to go, boys. 
Uh, I don't know what I what I need about this purified water, but fuck it. Having the purified water on me is not gonna hurt me, right? Have a great Seems to be growing well. I don't think this water works. Never mind. What kind of first time message is that? I'm giving him 10 more seconds to respond before I just permaban him. Fuck it. Ah, dude, a fucking weird first time message. You're scared of pregnancy? Yeah, I mean, I, I understand that too. I mean, pregnancy is a lot more safe now than it's ever been, but at the same time... Eh. It's already been 10 seconds. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you know, maybe... Uh, maybe, maybe he was typing out a nice reply, like, Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to type what I said. Maybe, maybe I miss meant what I said. Meant to say in the much. Twitch chat room, you know? But it's something. Hi. I'm sure I have something you need. Mod I've check, boys. To browse. Let me know has the mod check emote gone? I think it has. All right, purified water, 878 of this. We should be good to do a little bit of a reset. Do, 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 do. Oh, the mod check emote's still there. But they all stressed out. I just think I have five kids that would go, ha ha, I got you. Welcome to hell. Yeah, honestly, it's like... I don't know, man. I don't want to say it too much because a lot of my viewers are parents and they have kids, you know, trying to save their marriage. Or maybe they have kids because they love the, like they want to have a family. I don't want to be mean because a lot of people are stuck with kids and, you know, I understand that that can be a little bit depressing. But at the same time, I was asked a question, so, you know. I'm thinking about taking bot applications. Uh, you need to be subbed for at least six months for me to even like consider it at this point. All right, gun note rank four is good, but we don't need it. And obviously it's not gonna do much for our weapons anyways. We already have it fully decked out. Uh, scrounger could be good. In fact, I'm, I'm just gonna take scrounger, I think. Ooh, actually, oh, we can go for endurance and just go get yeah, solar powered. Yeah, let's do that. Endurance for solar powered. <gasps> Wait, did I just hit level 46? I could've got this. Fuck. Alright, we're just getting next. Whatever. That's a big mistake. Alright, um... Back to Preston Garvey. Should be... Okay, well, I actually I should at least do green top nursery. It's over here. Why not? What's my favorite gun in Fallout 4? Uh, Spray and Pray. For sure. Well, also, yeah, I mean, there's another thing that kind of freaks me out about, like, having kids as well and, like, life now is, you know, we all, I think we're all becoming aware of, uh, the discrepancy when it comes to making money 20 years ago compared to now, right? Compared to, like, living. So, I mean, that also has, like, a big impact. I don't know, man. Jabba, we're arguing in general chat about what is considered a burger. Do you have any takes? Um, I think people are really stupid and they like to be annoying and contrarian. A burger is a burger and a sandwich is a sandwich. Is a burger a sandwich? Yes, but does that not make it a burger? Yeah, it does make it a burger. It means, like, you know, it takes precedent, right? Because a sandwich is just something between two slices of bread. I could shit in, in, a, in, a, in a bun and that's a sandwich, you know? But a burger is a sandwich, sure, but it's a burger. If you want to call it a sandwich, you can. But then, at the same time, I'm probably just gonna, like, you know, never speak to you again, and never have you, like, ban you from my chat, and cut you out of my life, and you know, all that stuff, so. <laughs> Spyro Subway flashbacks. That's something new. I mean, don't, like, Americans call chicken burgers chicken burgers because burgers are supposed to be with beef patties? Or like some weird shit like that. Isn't that like a thing? Where like some people or like some countries companies will call it a chicken burger or a chicken sandwich. I, I, I don't know if that's an American thing, but it's like a thing that I hear is people call it a chicken sandwich. And you look at it, it's like it's a burger though. What are you talking about chicken sandwich? You know, I, 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 like see some people are like what the fuck is a chicken burger? What's a chicken sandwich? I don't, I'm, I'm confused now. You please be, please be. Excuse me. Oh, Please be a kidnapping. Get to the point. What? What do you mean? A pack of feral ghouls has wandered in nearby. Fine, I'll deal with it. I'm on it. It's as good as done. National Grade Guard Training Yard. That is not that far away. I don't think. Uh, it is just south of here. All right, I can go do that real quick. Yo, Gassy Fox. Thank you for the 14 months and Irish Tiger. Thank you for the 4 months too. And Protein... Proteinian. Thanks for the Prime. I think that's how you say your name. 
Hamburger steak is actually a steak. Do you have Chick-fil-A in England? Uh, Chick-fil-A, no. We, I mean, in, in London, we have, like, everything. So, most foods, we have them. Most chains, we have them. But, like, I wouldn't consider Chick-fil-A... Like, just having one Chick-fil-A in London doesn't count as having Chick-fil-A in England, you know? I know what you guys mean by that. Come get it, big boy! He's running away. Sir. Ooh, delivery. <laughs> All right, moving on. Fuck yeah, dude, express, Uber Eats. Oh my God. All right, we good? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Amazon Prime same day delivery? Um, somebody asked me what my favorite burger is. My favorite fast food burger is uh, definitely Five Guys. There's nothing that beats Five Guys. Five Guys is like the pinnacle of what burgers are. Overpriced? Sure, but it's still my favorite burger. Do, 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 do. Like, I, I can agree that something's overpriced, but you didn't ask me what my best, my favorite price per product burger is. You asked me what my favorite burger is. It's five guys. And then if you ask me what my favorite, like, budget burger is, probably Burger King. Like, fast food. I think Burger King burgers get underrated. Like, uh, like so underrated. They get slept on so much. Burger King burgers, at least here in the UK. I like them, man. I think they're good. Especially, like, a double Whopper. Oof. Now we're talking. Burger King does slap. That being said, I, I do prefer KFC over Burger King, but... KFC is uh, technically a chicken sandwich, not a chicken burger, because they do not exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, he went flying. Holy shit. Both Burger King and KFC suck here. Yeah, I I've, I've heard that Burger King and KFC in the US sucks, which kind of makes you know, talking about Burger King and KFC cringe, because people might think I've got bad taste now. Do you think you're cringe? Yes. I think I'm cringe, but I don't think I'm annoying cringe. There's a difference between being an annoying cringe and being cringe. Being cringe is fine, dude. Whatever. If people don't like you, it is what it is. But being annoying cringe just puts so many people off of you. An annoying cringe is when you try and show people memes 24-7 <laughs> and try and like repeat the same shit over and over again until like someone reacts to it, even though what you said originally wasn't funny. You know, and that's the reason why no one reacted to it. Yeah, it's kind of like that, right? I hate that I have to go out here just to kill off, like, the two ghouls. Everyone's cringe sometimes. I think it's good to be cringe. Because you can never be cr you can never be funny if you're not cringe. Because being funny is being cringe to the right amount. It's kind of like drinking, right? Drinking is poisonous. But when you get drunk, you don't get poisoned. You drink enough just to have a bit of fun and, you know, that's kind of like being cringe. You be cringe enough to be fun and not cringe enough to be infectiously bad. <laughs> I don't know. It makes sense to me. Real cringe is coming in and first question is about Harry Potter. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Scottish. Hello? Any ghouls? Uh. Sorry, boys. Wiggy wiggy bitch, come on. Open at him. Come on. I can see your glowing ass. Right. So this weapon is a little bit overpowered, but we're doing good. Turbo can't beat this game without explosive weapons. Dude, I'm telling you right. Without this explosive weapon, what would I have? Nothing? What about this? I could just turn this into a fully automatic combat rifle and I'd be fine. This thing would melt any anything in the game. I've got OP weapons. Get over it, bitch. That's what I thought, man. 
You're nothing without that weapon. I know what you guys are trying to get me to do. You're trying to get me to give up the weapon, right? But you know who I am? You know what I am? I am like Elijah Wood, right? In Lord of the Rings. And you're, you are like, what's that fucking freak who dies in the first one called? Boromir? You guys are disgusting, little disgusting vermin Boromir. You little festering pieces of shit trying to steal my ring from me, eh? I know what it is. You guys just want it for yourself, don't you? You want to take my explosive shotgun and have it for yourself. But guess what? I ain't gonna let you take it. Yeah, this weapon's OP. Yeah, this weapon is making the game easy for me, but I'm not giving it fucking away. All right, fuck you. Go have your stupid elvish bread. Was it, what did they call it? The stupid elvish bread that they, they eat? Keep your precious. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Fine. Whatever, dude. You tell, yeah, Lambus bread. <laughs> oh, what's that, chat? You guys have ate the Lambus bread and Jabbo's starving and he has to give you the explosive shotgun just so you can survive? No, I don't think so, man. Okay? I don't think so. It's my shotgun. Watch this and learn. That's right, bitch. Anyone else want some? God, this weapon is actually, like, so... Oh, what a shit weapon. I'm sick of getting bad weapons, man. Stop. Lord of the Rings, Jabbo is becoming more corrupted as he nears his journey's end. You know, I will say one thing about Lord of the Rings. Best trilogy of movies ever. That's it. It's quite simple. L literally that. And then Kung Fu Pandas right after it, you know? It goes, it goes Lord of the Rings, Kung Fu Panda, Matrix, when it comes to the best trilogies. Yeah. Extended edition, obviously. Duh. Dude, who, who watches Lord of the Rings wanting to get like, what, nine hours out of it? You want to get like 12. <laughs> I don't know how long the extended edition is. Although that being me, like as a kid, I would always skip the Were boring scenes. those ghouls? Took care of those I'd ghouls, always skip the boring scenes. You did? Oh my god, shut up. That's great that news. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't seen Asteroid City yet. I need to assign someone to this. Um, I need to assign someone to this. I don't know if you guys ever watched... Uh, Seems to be growing well. The Two Towers film. But it was one of my favorite Lord of, it was my favorite Lord of the Rings film. But to this. I'd always need skip... To assign someone to this. Dude, did she stop? Uh, do you know like the bit where they have like the main scene of like... Yeah. I forgot what it is. It's like the, the main one where like Elvis, Elvis? <laughs> fucking whatever, dude. Never mind. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's no point talking. All right, head up north. Go talk back to Preston and then go do the rest of these. Should be fine. Realistically, because I think he's gonna tell us to go do our next mission. Yeah, maybe. Uh, do I fuck with the Hobbit? Nope. Hobbit movies suck. I watched the first one, realized it sucked ass, never wanted to watch it. Haven't watched the new Matrix film because I don't want to ruin it for me. But yeah, the second film, when like the talk, you know when like the trees are talking? The Ents. I always skip th that part of the film. <laughs> whenever I see the tree on, on, whenever as a kid, I would watch that and see the trees on screen. I, I was just like, dude, I don't fucking care. <laughs> fucking skip. And they'd be like, Oh yes, we are the trees of the forest. It's like, oh my god, dude, spit it out! Holy shit! And then they gather around the like little campfire and they start talking about how like life used to be. Oh my god! Maybe I maybe I've had like TikTok brain before TikTok, but that part of the film is really boring. So no, you can't blame me. There's an alien right behind me. Yeah, the other one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's voiced by David Amber, I wish. How can you play all day? What, video games? I don't. I don't really play video games that much uh, outside of stream. I mean, depends on the game. Sometimes I'll get addicted to a game and just play it non-stop for like four days, and sometimes I won't play games at all and I'll just watch TV. Okay, watching Glorious Bastards. Banging good film. Banging good film. Oh, I could easily play games all day. I just choose not to. 
played five hours of Zomboid yesterday. I mean, yeah. Five hours isn't that much. Just five hours, man. You gotta remember, Chad, I've pretty much been playing games my entire life as like a full-time job, even when I didn't have a job. <laughs> you ever seen Transporting? I have, of course. I don't know about playing games outside of Steam. I don't, it never really bothered me anymore. Like, I, I don't really care. I kind of got over that whole thing when the Epic Games launcher came out and everyone was like getting really pissy about it. I was just like, dude, it's free games, you know? Why are people getting angry about Epic Games coming out with free games? And then there was like the exclusive launcher stuff and I was just like, well, I don't care at this point. Oh, there's a bridge up there. Should just cross that. My bird. Why not stream and game all day and make a shitload of money? Because one, if I stream all day, I, I can't exactly play Fallout for all day. I'll get bored. Um, uh, I can't exactly stick to what I'm doing all day. Two, I have relationships. I have a partner and I have a job in being YouTube. I, I think it's worth iterating. Twitch technically isn't what I consider as my job. It's more my hobby. YouTube is my job because it pays well. Um, so I prioritize that as much as I can. And uh, also the more I stream, the less people want to chill because it's kind of like if you're streaming all the time, well, people can come in and out whenever they want kind of thing. I don't know, it's fine, but like, I don't I don't want to overexpose on stream. But also on top of that, I also don't really need to, you know? I used to like think that way. I used to think that way back when I was more in the Twitch mindset. I think that's more of like a Twitch mindset thing. It's kind of something I've moved away from. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just stream when I want to now because it makes me happy. Makes me a lot happier when I stream when I want to stream. Rather than, <clears throat> okay, this is my job and I need to go live today, so <sighs> I guess I'll go live, whatever, fine. Isn't Twitch more chill as your main job than YouTube? <clears throat> yes, but YouTube is more hands off in a way. Getting a break from, um, getting a break from you guys is, is nice. Without being mean, it is. Not having to like, you know, think about what you guys are up to or what you're saying or how active my chat's being or what everyone's thinking or if everyone's having a good time. I can just sit and play games or edit and put things together and it's much more fun as a job. I also don't like using social media like a lot of people. On your way home. Alright, sorry Jasmine. Um Yeah, I checked my five saw it, sorry! <laughs> My bad. But yeah, no. Um, I, yeah. Shit. Not a fan of social media. Personally. So I try to use it as little as I can. And I consider this to be somewhat social media as well. If that makes sense. What was my first Fallout stream about? Speedrunning. Will I blow this to YouTube? Uh, this will be a main video on the 16th. Bad boyfriend? Don't fucking true that. That's mean! <laughs> I never check my phone. I've always been bad at it. Alright, nice. Alright, Preston, I'm here. Social media. I, I think the, the one thing that pisses me off about social media is... And you learn this pretty fast, is that, yeah, a lot of social media is just people posting, like, or showing what they want the world to see. And I feel like that's one of the biggest f mental f mind fucks. Because when you're on social media, by proxy, almost everything you see on social media then is going to be positive and, like, happy or controversial and shit. And that's not really good for you. I can't imagine that's good for your mindset, you know? Like, either 10 out of 10 or 1 out of 10 type f shit all the time. You know, either you hate it or you love it, like, you, and then you start seeing nice things, but you start, like, it starts making you feel like shit because, you know, you're comparing yourself to the, it's just, I don't know, it's just negative. Hello, Preston. I've got to hand it to you, General. You really turned things around for the Minuteman. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery. That's why Drake's a real we one. about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. Uh. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? You're welcome. Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha, that's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. 
The fact that she's come back to the Miniman means we must be doing something right. True. If they can knock out oh. the castle, it could set us back to square one. We can't let that happen again. I've sent word for all available Minutemen to rally at the castle. We've got to win this one. One sec, chat. Uh, what the fuck is he doing? Preston? I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having... Why is he not at the castle? I don't know. Backyard. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. <laughs> uh, alright. Ghoul problem, right? <clears throat> is there something you need? We not got any other missions? Defend the castle? Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding? <sighs> Alright, we're running across the, um... The Commonwealth again. <clears throat> Do you guys want some music? What about, what about, like, uh... Animal Crossing? 5 a.m. Music. All right, we're going back across the Commonwealth. This is going to take a while, so. Yeah, I did coffee. Hey, headshot. I actually was going to put a Weezer joke in my recent video, but I didn't want to do it. I'll show you exactly where I was going to put it to. In this video, Project Zomboid 1, I was going to put a Weezer joke. Right here. Wait for it. Because uh, it gets, like, really blue. Here. I was going to put Weezer here. <laughs> but I thought it would just confuse people. I, f I thought people would just get confused. Like, what the fuck? So I didn't do it. Because it just looks off, right? <clears throat> Sorry, that was my YouTube video. My bad. Is this stream still going on? No, j Mile, you're hallucinating. You've been in a car accident on your way to the gym. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to uh, resuscitate you. You're currently in a coma, and uh, this is your only way of passing on to the next life. You have to let go, man. The stream ended a long time ago. I'm sorry, man. It's time to wake up. This VOD fucking sucks. <laughs> this isn't a VOD, this is a live stream, you fucking loser. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a pre-recorded stream. It's a bit of ass, not gonna lie, dude. Can you play something else? <clears throat> Good times. How do you fast travel? Uh, pull up your map and click on a location. <clears throat> Hello? No red, is he? Is this Facebook Live? If I didn't stream on Twitch, where would you guys want me to go to stream? I'm, I'm assuming YouTube, right? Because YouTube's probably the one place I would go to. Obviously, you guys got to post, like, kick us a drug and all that shit, chat a bit. Oh, haha. But, like, yeah, YouTube. <clears throat> Not Facebook. Facebook's, like, Korea suicide. <laughs> to be fair, though, if, if Facebook offered me, like, 10 million, I'd take it. Just retire. You know, come back in, like, four years. It's like, hey, chat, I retired, um, and now I can just do whatever I want, so. Pog champ. Then come back and everyone's already left. To be fair, though, I don't know if I would actually take that. Actually, maybe I would. Maybe now. I don't know. Maybe, uh, nah. Nah, I feel like... I don't know. Because uh, as much as that would be fun, I think I would hate it in like a year or two, you know? Like, I'd, I'd be... You'd have to stream on the website that you hate. <laughs> it's like such a commitment. And I'd, I'd probably just hate every second of it. <laughs> it actually, <laughs> to be fair... If I got paid 10 million to go to Facebook, I'd start making boomer content. I honestly, I'd just go full, full whole hog. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd do like Hassan Abbey, but the opposite. And start talking about like conspiracy theories on like Facebook Live. <laughs> uh, dude, I'd just go off the deep end. Why not? You know, fuck it. Why not, dude? Just have a bit of fun. Start spreading shit for no reason. Until they ban me and then take away my, uh... 10 million contract clause, and I'm just, I don't, uh, you know, I mean, you know, it could work out. Uh, I'd talk about how bad social media is. Yeah, yeah, social media is bad. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be using it, yeah. 10 million does a lot of talking, yeah. 
What happens when I run out of caps? Uh, I explode. Apparently Facebook is huge for video streaming. That's the biggest lie anybody could ever tell you. It's not. It's Facebook is dog shit for streaming. Everyone I've seen that's moved over to Facebook for live streaming has lost every single crumb of, like, viewership they had. Live streaming on Facebook only really works in, like, what, Southeast Asia and South America, where Facebook is still prevalent? Oh, is that, like, I think it's Central Asia. Like, India, where Facebook's prevalent. And then South America. It's not good for, um... Yeah. Facebook sucks. Is Billy free yet? No. I have a friend who insists on streaming to Facebook. There's a lot of people in this industry that you find eventually, like, that are big. A lot of creators that are big creators that like to pretend or like to, like, assume that they know what they're talking about. And, like, two to three years ago, a lot of these big Twitch entertainment space creators were always going on about Facebook Live being the next big place for streaming, and guess what? It wasn't. So... And they're always like, oh, dude, Twitch is going to die in the next two years, and Facebook gaming is going to take off, and everyone's going to move over to Facebook. Says fucking who? Farmville? I mean, yeah, I mean, if you've been playing Farmville for 15 years, then you got every right to keep playing it, to be honest. <laughs> No, I think the only thing that can kill Twitch is Twitch, and I think it's it's production costs. Like, the, the cost of Twitch streams and all that stuff is just too much. Hello? Is YouTube gaming still alive? Yeah, I'd say YouTube gaming is actually the healthi healthiest out of all of the live streaming- Out of all of the live streaming spaces, I'd say YouTube's doing the best, actually. Uh, and I'd say YouTube is probably the best place to be in general as a content creator. It always has been, in, if I'm being honest. I, um, I don't know, dude. People have always asked me to have, like, a Facebook account for, like, reasons and stuff. And I've always just blew them off because I just hate having a Facebook account. It just reminds me of when I was a kid. And, you know. Facebook wasn't used for a lot of good reasons back in the day. A lot of people found ways to be assholes on Facebook, so... Eh, fuck that shit. Hey, boys. We good? good. <clears throat> yeah, like Central Asia, that's what... Is is the Middle East considered Central Asia? Or that is that's, that's India, right? I think the Middle East is considered Western Asia? Or is it just the Middle East? Anyways, that would just be the Middle East, yeah. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. No, it's considered the Middle East. Yeah, okay, but if you talk about continents, what are you fucking supposed to- like, con like, okay, you have Africa, you have Europe, you have Asia, you have North and South America, you have Antarctica. Which is it? I don't know, Chad. Oh, wait, and uh, Oceanic. Sorry, I forgot about the, I forgot about Australians. Also, it's not called Aust Australia, is it? Yeah, I feel like that's weird calling the uh, Australian continent Australia when it's not just Australia, right? It's like <laughs> that's like calling North America USA. Yeah, it's Oceania, Oceanic, Oce Oceania, whatever the fuck. Just make God wait a little longer. You gotta listen, Mayor McDonough. I saw him with one of those institute synths. Piper was right. He's one of them. Oh, he God. A synth. Oh, God. What do we do now? You can stop standing around. Someone get a doctor. <sighs> Piper was correct. Danny. Two slugs in the gut. Quick. Take the stim pack. Thank you. Danny died, Chad. He's dead. You there. We need to talk. What do you want? What's the problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son Nelson. Is this true? Yeah, it's true. I killed him. You son of a bitch. Giga Chad. Please tell me one thing. Why did you do it? 
Nelson was a punk who was in way over his head. Good riddance. We'll see who's in his head. Can I shoot this guy? <laughs> You're going to pay for what you did. Guys, no! Come on! He deserved it! Fuck you! Oh, whatever, dude. Go fuck yourselves. Fine, I'll come back later. I'll deal with Mayor McConnell, whatever his name is then. I, whatever, man! That guy was starting a fight with me. I was gonna go kill the synthetic Mayor. God. Alright, chat. I got some uh, pretty amazing news for you guys. I'm gonna be streaming for the next... 25 minutes. Am I causing irreplaceable damage? Oh god, okay. We leveled up though. That's all that matters. Um, And we can get this too. Wow, more damage. You doing Targov today? I actually really enjoyed. What he tossed a grenade there. I actually really enjoyed talk of yesterday. Why am I killing these guys off? Tag off worth getting into? Uh, I would say so, yes. <gasps> no, was he the. No, was he. What have I done? What have I fucking done? <laughs> Am I a monster? Am I- am I a monster or is it the people that tried to kill me? All this over a guy that threatened me in- in, in a public space. I'm sorry, but like, am I not justified in like, you know, fighting back, defending myself? <laughs> Whatever, dude. You literally killed everyone in this playthrough? Yes. They deserved it. You killed Takahashi? I know, I feel bad, man. Okay, I can't get his noodle soups anymore. It's just like the broken mask massacre. <laughs> Whatever, chat. No, he didn't cause you any harm. It's not a crime to be angry. Yes. Oh, yes! Oh my god! What the fuck? Jazz, thank you for the 50 community gift subs. And Maturb, thanks for the two months too. What the fuck? Thank you, Jest, for the absolute waste of fucking money. <laughs> so? <laughs> True. The problem is I don't have any um, ammunition right now. We're not in a good spot, Chad. I need to travel back to the castle with no ammo. I should probably go to Good Neighbor, actually. Actually, no, no I'm going to prove to Chad that I can do this without the explosive shotgun. I'm going to use the wounding rifle. Thank you so much, Jest, for the 50. I do appreciate that. Crazy amount of gifted subs. No idea why. What? 1,769? You're almost at 2k gifted? $5 each, 2k subs gifted. Isn't that like 10,000 US dollars? Wow. And to think I only received like half of that. <laughs> well, not anymore. Used to. What happens if I ding this bell? Okay, that's so will it freak me out? <laughs> The timing on that sublet, man. Yo, Peppy! Thanks for gifting Mr. Banana sub. My BFFFFFFFFFFF. Very much appreciated. Imagine donating to a millionaire. Couldn't be me. What is that? Whatever. Gotta be careful going past this because there's a bunch of raiders in there. Oh, that's a shotgun. Nice. 
back off. I found it first. What? <laughs> Dude, he would have been fine if you just never said anything. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Joey? Can I borrow one dollar or give it back in 2051? Yes, as long as you pay the PayPal transfer tax. Because I don't want to pay that, dude. That's like an extortionate fee. But as long as you pay that, yeah, sure, man. Okay, the sleepy music's pissed me off now. <laughs> Vertibird? Oh, I thought, I thought it, like, instantly crashed. <laughs> ESO 100% when? Uh, when we hit a million subs on Twitch. Can I redeem daily tax twice a day? Nope. Doodle do 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 do. Yeah, I think like World of Warcraft 100% and Elder Scrolls Online 100% and all that stuff would take way too long. I'm good. I like Elder Scrolls Online, but I, yeah, I don't want 100% it. <laughs> the thing is, I do actually like Elder Scrolls Online. I think it's a it's a pretty good serv like game service game. It's probably one of the better ones. Fez has tried to make, um, <sighs> but I do not plan on playing it. Same with Starfield, actually. I don't want to play Starfield. Any like yeah, any Starfield content plans? No, not a single one. <laughs> not a not a speck of instance in my brain is allocated I to Starfield right now. Time, General. I guess we're about to find out if these new Minutemen really have what it takes. We've seen a lot of those Institute crow things sniffing around. Be -do 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 -do. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take us out. We've called in volunteers, so we aren't short of people. We'll see how these greenhorns do in a real battle. But our defenses could use some beefing up before it's too late. Okay. Um... Build defenses? I better get back to the broadcast. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Do I have a, wait, wait, wait. If I can build a thingy line. I can't do supply lines. Shit. Whatever. Can I put down oops. My bad. I can't put down anything, really. Okay, well let's just go get the stuff that's in here. Just build a box and hide in it? <laughs> Uh, if I- can I not, like, store these? Or do I have to like, actually pick them up? Are you kidding? Is that a joke? <laughs> Alright, let me just quickly juggle these back, you know? What am I playing, like, Halo? Bomb dropped. Bomb taken. Ball dropped. Ball taken. Ball dropped. Ball taken. Let's put it in the middle here. Like this. And that way it's nice little cover of all sides. Put down a generator. I need three gears. Great. Balls dropped. Wait, you guys never played Halo before? Fuck off. You have played Halo before, right? <laughs> Dude, do. Never played Oddball? It's like one of the best Halo game modes. Fuck your radio freedom, I need this shit for this. No, I need this for this. Give me this. I don't want it. Give me this there. Let me attach these motherfuckers in. Alright, we're sorted, boys. We're pumped up. Let's go. We should be good, right? What I I have 22 defense. Is that not what they need? Build defenses, 12%. I've built defenses! Hey, toes, smelly toes. And up, scuddy boy. Griff ball? Oh my god. Was that without, like, where, where you had, like, the, the energy sword and the other weapon? Oh, this one's not turned on. Do, 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 do. Do, do. What are they? How much defense do they fucking want? <laughs> My god. Is 76 good for single player story? No. I just scrapped that by accident. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. You gotta wait for the attack to start? I am not gonna sit around and wait for the attack to start. 
Doom, doom. Make sure people are on the mortars. Does it make a difference? Don't I have to like manually fire the mortars or do they fire them automatically? Oh my god. It gives defense. Oh. Guess I could do that. It's kind of like useless though, but whatever. Yo, Preston. To be fair, I probably don't want you fighting. You're pretty useless. There is. Yes, there should be caps in the workbench. All right, so Preston's on that. You? Go on this one? I actually have quite a lot of these guys. I should probably build, like, these defenses so they can stand on them. Where are we at? Just joined? We're doing uh, the Minutemen story. Uh, I can't believe I scrapped that. That's so dumb. Defense. Turrets? No. God posts. What the fuck are these? Security desk. <laughs> Dude, I should build like some security desks. Yeah, you better watch out, boys. We've got fucking desks. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's right. My cap count is gone. That's because there's no UI. Just wait. Once the UI is gonna wear, uh, comes back up, the cap count will be there. Hey, what up, Hidden One? Welcome to the stream. Everyone post fucking hi in the chat for that guy in the stream because it's his first fucking chat message, all right? God! We'd be supportive of our new viewers. Yeah, you sit in this one, please. Thank you. Let's have a sip of water. We're dead. I think we're not going to survive this one, Chet. Let me go sleep in the bed real quick. Fuck the new viewers. Yeah! Got to get the transmitter power back up before I can do, 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 do I have any, uh... They come from this way, right? One of them, they might come from, and then they come from this doorway too. Uh, I guess a plasma mine? I can see them over there already. Uh, cryo mine, fuck it. What was that? Hey. Radio Freedom 24 7 music to listen to. <laughs> I'll see if I can hit them before they get here. Damn. Alright, there's one down. I guess here we go, boys. Fights have started. Shit's hitting the fan. I wonder if you can outfit the Minutemen with better weapons so they're not using the shitty little, like, crank rifles. <laughs> you friendly? You are. Okay, nice. Uh, and you guys got shotgun ammo. <laughs> Please, I'm dying of it. I need shotgun ammo so bad. I'm saving my shotgun ammo for like any bosses, I think, at this point. Any legendaries. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> did that kill a minute, man? Okay, question. If I put down a mine and like a friend steps on it. Oh my god, can I aim? Is that considered me killing them? Oh, is that like considered what? Like, is that me? Thank you. Yes? I didn't kill him though. They stepped on the mine. That's their fault, right? Maybe don't step on the fucking mine next time. Uh -huh. What are we looking at? Why are you guys in the water? I thought you were like robots. Alright, we're 20% done. That's pretty good. It's like assisted suicide. <laughs> Fuck. Hello? Oh, a bunch of them just spawned in. I can hear that shit. They just spawned up there? Oh my god, they did. 30%. Fuck me, we're gonna be here forever, dude. Feels like my turrets aren't doing anything. Just saying. I saw your sticky ass. Oh! <gasps> Dude, kill the, the synth. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Why don't I have a scope on this thing? Because I've been using the shotgun. 
I've used the shotgun so much, I didn't think I'd actually use this weapon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I broke them. They're all broke. Are you kidding? All that work for nothing? Oh my god. Quick, I need to drink some water. No. Oh wait, that does count as drinking, does it? Alright, no worries, Billy. At least the generator survived. Oh, at least the generator survived. Where we at? Oh, that's a radiation weapon. Oh, shit. Now is probably a good time to pop some radaways. That's a radiation. Fucking hell. Two of them. A quantum. And we're gonna pop medics and buff out to keep us alive, I think. Let's see if that helps. Because we are definitely taking a lot more damage than I thought we would be. That's totally fine. Manageable, I think. I wouldn't mind his radiation weapon, though, in case it's for, like, something we can use. <laughs> Chat, I need to go pick up my girlfriend from the train station. I can't be here forever! I can't see you. I can't actually visibly see you, Mr. Okay, that's it. Where you at? Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> shit! Oh, I'm so dead. 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 If I pop a jet, I might be able to survive this. No! Fuck! God damn it, dude! We have a swarm of attackers approaching from south. No! Now the attackers are arriving again! Oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever, dude. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do this today, chat. I might have to come back to this tomorrow. I need to leave soon. Rip Juve! Uh. Don't worry, chat. If you pop a max HD. Yeah, but I already popped one. Don't think the game lets you pop multiple. What was that? Yes, I do. Come here, boys. Where you're at? Yeah. All right, that's those two dead. I'm gonna clear out one side and then just switch over. This is like playing Hell Let Loose again. I'm firing at like individual pixels on my screen. Pretty wet. Okay, he's gone. Woo! Where's scope? I told you it's gone! Uh, I have no idea what that fucking sound is. I think it's a crank. Quickly pop this. Might have to pick up one of their laser muskets, to be honest with you. Yeah, I've, I'm actually enjoying Hell at Lose a lot. It's really fun. She's shivering in the cold? She's on the fucking train right now! It's a car, sir! Kill him! They shouldn't be allowed to use stealth boys. That's cheating. I can't see them! To be fair, I actually do like the stealth boy usage in Fallout 4. The unique animation and all that stuff. It's cool. He's on a train shivering in the cold. Can you guys stop making me feel bad about trying to fucking get this done in time? <laughs> also, that uh, that didn't miss. Also, you wanna know one thing I really hate about stealth boys? I, f I don't feel like stealth boys are, are stealth boys are, are like used equally. In Fallout 3 New Vegas, it feels like the way more OP on the player, and then in Fallout 4, it feels like the way more OP on like. A courier than they are on the player, you know? 
Dude, if you've ever been in the London Tube, you'd know that the London Tube is like really fucking warm. Not actually cold. That was not a good move. Not a masterful gambit, sir. Why do I have better aim when I can't see my iron sights? What the fuck? Four shotgun shells. Pick it. To be fair, that only took three minutes. We have another chance. We can we can do this, chat. We have one more chance. Okay, we can do this. Trust me. All right, one second. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Why are you already like out of commission? The fuck's that all about? I'm gonna try moving these over so they're like over here a bit more. Like actually fucking useful. Maybe this way they'll actually fire at something. Okay, I have bad aim. I get it. Why are they sitting in the water like that? Want to build walls? Fuck that. I'm here for a fight. Fuck me. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't. Don't. Show me about my aim. My aim is great, okay? You guys need to worry about yourselves. All right, buff out. Medics. Pop these. I'm going to take a psycho this time to see if it helps me survive. Should help me survive. Where's this guy? There we go. All right, let's go back. How much shotgun shells do I have? None at all. Like, literally, like, five. This would have been easy if I had shotgun shells. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Yeah, 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 I know my aim sucks. Wow, lever action. Great, dude. Can't wait to not use it because I've got no ammo for it. Yo, bad aim is the strategy, chat. It's the aim of the game. They've, they've breached the walls! It's over, boys! What the fuck is beaming me like that across the map? Southwest? Ah, I got him. Watch me just insta-kill all four of them here. That one went pretty well, actually. We killed like five of them in two shots. Uh, I have no idea where half their bodies went, though. Execute the coward. Yeah. How did you get up there? What the fuck? Dude, there's a, like a fucking courier right behind you and I can't shoot it because I got an explosive weapon. Why is he aiming at me when he's got like seven fucking minute? This is... Oh my god, dude. Aim at the fucking Minutemen right in front of you. Attack... Fucking logical! What a smart man! Jesus Christ! Shotgun shells? No. Sixty percent, boys. Okay, fucking couriers. Oh, the couriers are so hard to deal. Target. Dropping in, boys. Uh! 
That's a, that's a friendly. That's a friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking coasters always, man. Okay, okay. I, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. When in doubt, jet it out. Where the fuck is he? Where's the coaster? Fuck me, I couldn't see him. Corsa, courier, courier, not Corsa. Doesn't fucking matter, same fucking thing. Delivery men, postmen. I don't know. Delivery driver. What do you want to call it? The cor the couriers, Corsas, whatever the- They're like so determined to just kill me. And I can't see them. I like physically, this is like, I'm straining my fucking eyes trying to see them here. It's so hard. I could- You guys could probably barely make them out. There he is. Jesus Christ. Stupid stealth boys. Fuck me. They're so stressful. We can see him. Oh yeah! He's right behind you. Oh shit. <laughs> we need to be fast, chat. I've got like 20 minutes and it takes me like longer than that to walk to the station. Uh oh. Shotgun! Sorry, don't kill yourself with the shotgun this time. Just simple. We good? You know, chat, honest mistakes happen all the time. You just have to, like, learn to live with them and move on, you know? Fuck of war! <laughs> don't, don't. Don't save a oh, fucking courser, man. Curry a... Kill him! Great. Retreat! <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck. Oh my god! How is that? How is it missing half these shots? I swear. Yeah, let's laser and focus on the main guy. And let's all land all of our shots across the map for a tiny little hole on the main guy. And like, not aim at anyone else. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm so dead. Uh, okay. Let's fucking go for it, boys. This is bind 2-6. Bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> Holy shit. I like how he's like focusing on me still. This guy. <laughs> Summary 1 to 5. Shots clipping me. Can you guys stop? Can you guys let me have one thing in my life? This game has shit aim, all right? All right here we go. Fuck me. Oh my god, are we done? Are we done? It was a tough fight. <laughs> are they running off? What are we gonna do, let them leave? <laughs> I'm not just gonna let you guys leave, what the fuck? Uh, I guess we lost, boys. Let's go for a light jog as we try and leave the like vicinity of the action. All right. I need to end stream ASAP, by the way, chat, so we're doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go pick up my Listen girlfriend up, from, the, uh, from the, uh, yes, from the, uh, from the, uh, from the train station, so let's go do that different. real quick. Next time, I do appreciate you guys all sticking around and being here for it. What a great fucking time. I had a great stream. Uh, I do need to go. I'm already late as it is.